Hello, Hi. all. <laughs> we are back. Uh, Josh, I want a free play scene before we go. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just didn't want you to go like, okay, you're on the mission. No, 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 no. Right. Um, well, I was about to. So I know. that's uh -huh. why. You're, you're, you're tripping me up here, Nittner. Mar Marshall has, <laughs> it's fine. It's going to be a short one. Marshall has divided. Um, Marshall is uh, the is the officer going? Is the ex Akara? Officer, Akara is she going on the mission? With yeah. Them? Okay. Cool. Well, actually, um, no, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Um, I think this is like a good way for her to kind of get to know the troops. So whoever gets sent on that mission will actually see her in action. Mm -hmm. So uh -huh. Dino finds Rhea uh -huh. before this mission. She <laughs> says. Hold on. <laughs> the last time we went into the depths underground to find some arcane thing, we faced a horror that no one should ever face. True. I'd rather you come out alive than come out with her cured or whatever it is that she seeks, if the choice has to be made. Don't die for this woman we don't know. And I think Rhea looks at That's Dianova. That's not your oath. <laughs> Rhea, Rhea looks at Zyanova and it's sort of like, it's it's a mix between like sadness and also like, oh, this person really cares about me, right? Mm -hmm. um, and also it's, it's very much, a, it's cute that you think that you can tell me what to do, mm -hmm. right? I don't even think Rhea says anything. I think she just smiles and then, you know, like like cups Zyanova's face in her hands and like gives her a kiss. Mm. <laughs> so cute when you're clueless. <laughs> when you're worried. Yeah. I mean, like Rhea probably would have said the same thing to Zyanova if there's if their positions were reversed, right? Um Zyanova does not wear the brand of the healing goddess, though. It's true. Yep. She doesn't. And this woman is not Legion Sworn yet, so. It's true. Ah, crap. We're doing this for. Okay, she can't come with us. <laughs> <laughs> Marshall's like, oh yeah, never mind. You're gonna break. You're gonna break morale. Um, That's why we're bringing a, a no. A, is it a noble or a? So, so this is this is fascinating to me. I I'm I'm curious why your free play scene wasn't okay. Before you go, you gotta swear yourself to the Legion. Because we didn't think of it until like two seconds ago. Okay. I mean, <laughs> we I'm can not, still do that, right? I mean, I just I know of his priority is not this uh, this Dar officer. <laughs> so, uh, but yes, anyone else who wants to can be like, all right, and da, 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 da. okay, cool, you're a legion. <laughs> I think the marshal might do that. <laughs> Oh wait, she's coming with us. Okay, before you go, <laughs> and you just here <laughs> and here and here and here. If yes, you thank will... you. All right, yes, you are now part of the Legion. <laughs> so, what does that look like? Yeah, uh, I mean, you can you can work with the Lord Keeper here, right? Because like the Lord Keeper is the keeper of the Legion's values. But I'm dead serious. What does it look like when you swear someone into the Legion? Oh, they have to sign their name into the book. Mm. That's awesome. <laughs> like when is there or is the ink fine? I mean, no, I don't. I don't think it's. I don't think it's blood. I don't think we're that sort of maudlin about it. But um, I think it, it's a ritual, right? You're putting your name next to all the other names who are oath sworn to the legion. So yeah. I think that there is Misha. If this is cool with you, I think there's a small bit of text that uh, you know we we sort of feed to her to recite, and then she you know signs her name into the book. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's probably pretty similar to the uh, army oath. Uh, yeah, I was going to say the oath of enlistment. Yeah. Um, solemnly swearing. Mm -hmm. Support, defend the uh, legion and its values, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's it. Eat the loan. I, I got a, I got yeah, a second. Yeah. She's actually really interesting because, uh, before she signs, she has to wind up her hand so that she can do the thing. Um, <laughs> so cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she makes little clicking noises. Uh, and uh, 
actually, you find out that part of the reason why she came to to uh, Aldermark is she actually knows your clockmaker. Uh, he's the one that designed the arm for her. It's his mm. masterpiece. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Steam engines don't care, but like, check out this arm. Look at that arm. <laughs> got Bucky Bar. So good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's actually got like you see her that when she gets ready, she puts on her armor and then she puts on the like armor for her mechanical arm. Um, she has like metal plates that actually like click into position and stuff. So she's got this like huge like metal armored thing on her shoulder. So, so we've got the Winter Soldier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> not so not, not as much arm. brainwashing, but yeah. <laughs> I I uh, Marshall, I something that just occurred to me. Yeah. I think I will play this as quartermaster. Like after you do all this thing, quartermaster's like, so she's an officer, right? Yep. Officers always lead squads, right? Yep. So you're sending the newbie. Okay. We let boys <laughs> lead. That's not how we do. Burn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think uh, Quartermaster has, because he does, a radish, and it's got like a little, like, um, it's got like a, like a, ro- it's rotted a little bit, um, as they sometimes do, and he just takes his knife and he just digs the rot out and like flicks it, he's like, radish is still good. And uh, yeah. I just think it's a predicament, right? There's no way out of this. I just wanted to highlight that, oh, we just made a new officer and now they're going on their first mission. I'm going with the, she trusts that the, that Janakis or Janakis. Janakis, Janakis, thank you. Janakis, yeah. Um, Who has served with the Legion and has chosen her as his second command would not choose a fool to do so. Totally agree. Going with that, yeah. I trust her. Awesome. I, I think there's actually probably like a kind of like a heartwarming moment. So like Akara, I envision her like again. This is going to be up to Misha because Misha's the marshal. Um, she can stat her up however she wants. But in my head, she's like a heavy marshal officer, right? Um, and and you actually see like when she's standing in front of a squad, you know, they're all like what you got and and she gives them like one of those great command speeches where she she starts a little hard like i know the situation that we're in i know that none of you know me but i've taken the oath you know and i i will i will bleed for you and i expect you to do the same you know and then she like cracks a joke uh you know <laughs> something something to do with people from dollar you know like a couple of them snicker without meaning to you know and then catch themselves and you know she like breaks the ice a little bit and then like actually like correct someone's like uniform or something, you know, like just to showcase that she understands sort of like how this whole thing works and uh, kind of gets people in the line to, to sort of uh, get them ready to go. Um, yeah. Nice. Meanwhile, Zaino was just sitting there all awkward as she always is before a mission. Um, it's an honor to serve with all of you. May we do the best we can with the time that we have. <laughs> all right. Because she hates doing the speechy part. <laughs> we know. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you a fact. Uh, this is not published anywhere. This is a secret. If you're watching this the show, you get you get a preview, uh, which is that I actually know the Dar heritage traits, and uh, Akara actually has one of them. Now, what you do not know is that Dar is a land covered in shadow, and shadows there are deadly. They're they're supernatural when night falls you die if you stray away from the light and so uh their cities have these whole lighting techniques and things like that but akara has one of the dark traits which is she sees perfectly in darkness so they're going into a pit with all sorts of like boogeymen and scary monsters and and she can actually see without light so like that's that's a trait that they're going to come back with stories about nice uh, so uh that's one of her her uh, cultural cultural abilities. It's one of the it's one of the like the dar are a little bit strange. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, very cool. I was gonna say I'm gonna answer Nemo Meme's question, which is the book looks a lot like this book. I'm just oh. saying, the book. We got props. Yeah, All right, cool. Let's make that engagement roll for the primary. Alrighty. 
<laughs> well, that shower. Sorry, hold on. That was a poor choice. Um, everybody's oath sworn. Yay! They uh, are now. <laughs> well, this is the primary. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is all specialist stuff. So. Um, Commander, do you spend an intel? Oh, wait, we forgot intel questions. Intel oh, questions. Sure Yes. Thank you, Bisha. You're welcome. We have two intel, I believe. Yes, we do. Uh, I just have to zoom in on this because... Yeah, we're old. <laughs> I've been doing the same thing. It's like, how the hell? Yeah, something <laughs> like that. All right. Hmm... What would be a useful item to bring on this mission? Um, all right, so let's have a let's have a quick chat. Uh, like a luxury item of some sort might actually be very useful because this is not a f fighty type mission per se. You could do it. I don't know. Are you going to ask me about approaches, Jay? Uh, probably. If that's okay. an option on here. Uh, the, I think it's zero. It's like one or two approaches. It's like your favorite question. Oh, there we go. Yes. Sorry. Can I take that one back? Yeah, sure. All right. What are two approaches we could use? Well, I'm going to run with the same thing that was going to be an answer, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is you could attempt to sneak into their camp. <clears throat> uh, it's pretty well guarded, and these folks seem to be somewhat on alert. So, like... It, it's not going to be a trivial task, but uh, you can sneak into their camp to accomplish this mission to try and figure out what they're doing, how they're doing, what they're hiding, etc. Or you could just walk up to the front doors because you're not, these are not undead, they're people. So you, you, you can just literally try and talk your way in. Now, if you can bring like Orites, that'll help because this is a full Orite battalion and they're kind of snobbish. Right. Um, if you can bring a nice gift or something like be like, use a fine bottle of wine or something like that, um, it'll probably help, uh, like a luxury item of some sort. Um, right, right. Things that will give you pretext to be on their grounds without necessarily um, arousing suspicion. So something like that will might, will help you get an in. Nice. We do not have any rights that we're going on this mission. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Don't we? What about the sniper? No, she's secondary. She's secondary. I mean, we could switch it up <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but officers do have luxury items, so that is a that is a thing we have. Okay. What else you got for me, Jay? What resources or benefits might we find at a specific location ahead? So name the location. Are you thinking going high road or the mall? I'm thinking the mall. Um. All right. Uh, I'll 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 give you like a little bit of a sneak peek both directions, but I'll give you a, a little bit more of a sneak peek in the one that you're actually mentioning. Um, the the mall actually has like old catacombs and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, and in terms of resources, there are uh, remnants of like people that got lost, caravans and stuff like that, that you might actually be able to like claim some stuff from. Right. Um, the high road has uh, a very known resource, which is uh, Archangel Bridge, uh, which is one of the only passageways um, between two mountains. It makes for a good ambush point. Um, it's also got temples high up in the mountains, uh, but it is cold as all beget up there. So uh, air is thin. Which infamous or lieutenant might we face on this mission? Uh, none. There's there's none inside the walls. There there, there are literally none Good. on any Good. of your three oh. missions, actually. All right, and that's all the intel. All right, we Gucci. Indeed. All right, let's see that engagement roll. All right. So, uh. Da -da -da. Everybody's just sworn. Commander, are you spinning an intel? No. 
Uh, everybody is a specialist or a soldier. Yay! Uh, we all trust the leadership. And we have the required specialist or equipment. And this is a... Assault mission, actually. Assault. Mm-hmm. Quartermaster, did you give us black shot? I'm going to be real with you. I'm not 100% sure how useful black shot would be. Yeah. But if you spend a religious supply with Zora's special ability, I do know that that might be useful. You're muted. John, you're muted. That's what I was thinking is... Um, uh, right, like, the, these people are entrenched in here... And there's undead on the wall. So black shot seemed like it'd be useful in general. But if there's blight involved, yes. So the answer I think is yes, because I'm spending religious supply. Okay. You finally uh, have which some. Counts, which counts as black shot. I finally have some. Oh, how much does that make, by the way, Josh? A standard uh, amount? Uh, a box. So three charges. Three charges. Got it. That's what I figured, but. Nobody is starting with wounds. So, yep, yeah, that's three dice. Louis Excellente. You all. Ooh, risky. Ooh. Uh, so, which approach are you folks taking in? The right one. Oh. <laughs> I mean, who? if you're Russell. if you're sneaking, I know how to drop you into a risky position. If you're talking, we'll we'll talk about where that risky position arises. Yeah, Marshall, who who is playing who? Uh, All right, so uh, Zayanova is Sean. Matelli is Jay. Um. You want to be indigo or cobalt, Jen? <laughs> I was going to say scout or scout. Uh, yeah. I don't have strong feelings either way. Uh, I will be, I'll be indigo. Yep, I'll be, yeah, I don't want to be indigo, a different indigo, because indigo is right. <laughs> indigo is Cool. This is leaf. This is the, this is the. Indigo raging leaf, yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's. Come from? Huh? Where the hell did she come from? He. He came from, uh, he's the son of, uh, uh, if you recall, when you were in Barrack Mines, there was a unit that you sent that went into the forest, mm -hmm. and it had a scout with him that was the son of the priest in the forest. And uh, when you got to the forest, you realized that he and his dad do not get along at all. Right. And so he wanted to leave with the Legion, and he made it a caveat that you would protect his dad on a particular mission. I don't, I think that's, on that list. I think this is the one I missed. <laughs> this is the one with the dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, that's I the mean, one I missed. I'm like, what's that <laughs> Dinosaurs. Yeah. Uh, so somebody asked me, they were like, how did the mission go? I was like, this is probably my favorite mission. And they're like, better than the, the walls of Kavala? And I was like, I don't know. I think Kavala plays better on TV, but this mission had dinosaurs and ninjas. So. <laughs> and I missed the kissing. Yeah, uh -huh. that's true. Um, all, right, all right, so. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, he's, he's, yeah, cool. uh, he actually changed his name. He was Indigo Raging Storm, I think. Yeah, and, yeah. uh, because he, he actually managed to tame a great beast and ride one. He, he changed his name to Indigo Raging Leaf because that's the deed name for that. Uh, yeah. Cool. So everybody gets to mark that they have both Black Shot and Reliquary on their, um, Utility. Not that we're not still gonna need those. I have to point something out. You are walking up to these folks. So like if you're doing the diplomatic route, going higher than light is gonna be a little bit questionable, right? So like if you show up with like heavy armor and like weapons, mm. you have to kinda sell it, right? Like maybe a heavy is like, well, I wear my armor everywhere, you know. It's fine. I'm an, I'm a normal, it's okay. Um, we're legion, this is how we do. Yeah, but uh, but su super heavy loadouts are gonna be very dangerous for right. you folks in other ways. Yep. Um, so as I know, but kind of once we like got out, she's like, I don't know if any of you have noticed this, but I'm not very comfortable talking to people. 
No, you don't say. <laughs> so there's a large part of me that would like to find a peaceable way to do this. But you two are the sneakiest people I've ever, I've ever encountered. And Maltali, you can move in that armor like nobody else. We're going to sneak into their camp and we're going to find out what happens. And if we get caught, well, we'll come up with the story then. I.e. we'll flash back to now when we decide, decide what the story is going to be. Uh, so we're sneaking in. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Okay. So you folks are actually going to try and sneak in. Yes. Uh, well, uh, it's risky because when you get there, you realize that their heavies are stationed around the walls. Mm-hmm. They're on guard. And you realize that most of their heavies are taller than your heavies. And part of the reason for that is that they're actually wearing all right modified armor. So you remember how I mentioned that, you know, uh, Akara winds up her arm. They're actually in like armor with like over large shoulders and things like that. And you're just like, how does that even? And then you hear the clicking and you're like, oh, oh. <laughs> they're they, in mech suits. Uh, yeah, they're in mech suits, basically. Uh, they've got they've got some some extra padding. And you actually see um, alchemical like they look like uh upside down beakers filled with liquid like three on each side and you imagine that they have the ability to like just compress alchemy straight into their like masks like you see tubes running like out of the armor like right into the helmet rigged some deep like that for us oh yeah yeah. but not right but this is actually built into their suits like you see this and you're like that's we should stuff. get our suits to have that. I mean, that's a good trick, you know? We should talk to a clockwork guy. Maybe I'll we'll figure that out. That's, that's pretty dope. Uh, but uh, the thing is that that you're looking at a very dangerous kind of situation here, right? Like, it's risky because there is no clear path of entrance. Like, there's no, like, oh, well, the guards are half asleep, and we're just going to, like, skip over the section of the wall that nobody's watching, and it'll be fine. Like, right. you're, you're outside of their compound yeah. looking in, you have some idea of their compound. Like we can, we can. I think the scouts can bring uh, maps and stuff, uh, so we can talk about how Commander Jonicus gave you like an outline of the barracks and stuff. Uh, but looking towards the wall, uh, you see actually like you know two mech suits like at the corners of the wall, like that they, they have a clear line of sight, and you're just like, so what's the plan here? How do how do you distract them? How do you get them out of the way so that you folks can like hop across? Um, so. Uh, another question, Josh, uh, does the, since we did this last time, since the, our very first mission was to sneak under rather than through, um, does this fort have, um, is this fort a sophisticated enough that there are, uh, there are sewers beneath it? Or is it? There are, but the pipes leading into the sewers are not big enough to climb up through. Cool. Uh, so like they're not in the kind of sewer system uh, that you can move through all the way to the so like uh there is probably like a big sewer pipe with a big sewer exit somewhere in like the keep like there's an inner keep and bailey and stuff like that uh but these guys are just like in the barracks which means that there isn't like a (laughs) you you have like a basically like a toilet pipe coming down which is you know like sized like this but not sized human crawl through kind of you know you're not going to come out of a toilet hole, is what I'm saying. The, the mouse could make it through. That's it. Yeah, the, uh, if you leave, the mouse could make it through. Yes. Yeah. So uh, Josh, I'm going to ask you a very important question. Mm-hmm. Are any of them attractive? Uh, I don't, I'm going to uh, I'm going to give you some some options here. Uh, or they're actually cosmopolitan, so they come in a lot of like sizes, shapes, and colors. Uh, like they're 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 a port city, so people from a bunch of different places show up and then live in Or, which means that you'll find uh, people that look very different um, all over the place. So yeah, um, I'm gonna say that one of them is um, a woman uh, with golden hair. Uh, she's like, she looks like a, like like the suit's a little too big for her, but like she's been she's been left in, uh, you know. Uh, one of them's like a, a, a handsome looking like black man with a with a nice like goatee or something. Uh, and he actually has like his his you know how like they have like tubes running into their helmets where he has his like helmet like taken back and he's like standing on guard looking a little beefy, like he's got a nice broad set of shoulders. I have no idea what you find attractive per se, <laughs> particularly as this character, like as Pinear, yes. you know, people have like brilliant shocks of hair and like animal features and all sorts of stuff. I, don't, I really don't know. Uh, but 
yeah, that's 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 the two that you see at, at these two corners. And if you want me to come up with like two or three other ones, that's fine. Uh, I think Indigo looks at uh, looks at Cobalt. Uh, so uh, you think I can try climb that one like a tree? <laughs> I mean, one way to find out. <laughs> she like pops a mint. <laughs> she pops a mint. <laughs> nice. Uh, right, Asia, so are it's... you are you going? Are because. You... I know I was sitting there like, you know, drawing something like drawing up <laughs> and she's like, okay, so we'll wait for a distraction. Uh, you know, we'll wait for a distraction in the city and then we'll try to sneak over. Are you going to go up and You just... told me that we were the sneakiest people you knew. Yes. So, why I, so, so she, he took that to mean he is responsible for causing a distraction. <laughs> cool. Totally not at all what I know of meant. That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> Oh, we haven't gone on okay. a mission before. No, no, I was gonna be like, let's let's wait for them not to be looking and sneak over the over the wall. But you're- yeah, I was gonna say I was waiting for you to get in a fake fight with Meltali and the two scouts go. <laughs> well, that would have been this great. I love possible. it. This is all yeah. plausible. Yeah. If uh, somebody grabs her before she shreds off, or he strides, I gotta. It's all good. I mean, we, we play lots of different characters. Yeah. Um. Uh, my my. Uh, Zainab's big concern is, I think she will, and it's not because she doesn't like the plan, but she says, if you distract them, it still leaves you outside outside of this encampment. <laughs> he looks at the guy, hopefully for not for too long. All right. Uh, so, so, so this is the plan? Go yeah, and make the plan is- guys and so on? Yeah, is is uh, Indigo uh, distracts him, and then the rest of us sneak over. Uh, while he's okay. Over. Cool. Uh, cool. Yeah. How's Indigo your... has nothing in sway. Wait. How's a oh. dot in consort though? Oh, I th- yeah, I thought it was consort. I could be wrong. What's the diff? Sway uh, is lie. Consort is have like collective fun with yeah yeah that's what i meant consort is like we are actually friends and i want to relate to you as a human being uh it's it's usually used for being genuine with people sway is the one that you use to manipulate folks when you don't actually care about how they feel you just want them to feel a certain way uh doing this with like consort roles are usually i mean we, we you can say like i'm doing this with consort and i'll be like cool describe your consort and then we'll we'll gauge position and effect Right, like consort is a lot easier if you're like, is he at a bar? Well, cool. Maybe we can share a drink. Like that, that could be a consort. Um, but if you're like, I'd like to walk up to him and and reminisce about our time in the Eastern Kingdoms, you know, that gotcha. from the Eastern Kingdoms, you're Aldermani. <laughs> like <laughs> little things. Oh, I got those backwards. One moment, recalculating. It's fine. I mean, sometimes you're just like, it's your job to do this, and the, the yeah. scouts are just like. I mean, this seems like Indigo Raging Leaf's, uh, d- you know, interest. So you know, I can. Uh, hey there, the handsome. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was gonna say, Misha Cobalt has one dot in sway. If you'd rather tag <laughs> tag Indigo out, <laughs> Cobalt in. Would you rather go and try to seduce the guard? <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, but I will <laughs> if you want me to. Uh, no, but he does ask for, hey, anybody got a, a flask of, uh, you know, something better than... Did anybody bring a soldier's kit? <laughs> yes. We could easily say your flask is filled with whatever. Yeah. Right. Nice. So, yeah, uh... Ooh. Oh, that's armor. I, don't know. I dig it. Uh, cool. Um, Zynova is going to say, maybe I have something a little nicer. I was hoping to spend this, to use this somewhere else. And I think my fine luxury item in this case is going to be some actual Aldermani spirits, something that I like rummaged up before we went on this mission. Um, and I was hoping to give this to a commander, but 
let's see if it works here. So I'm gonna, um, I'm, I'm gonna, I think this is an, I'm, I want to handle this as an assist, but it may also, it may also affect position effect because this will be actually, it's a fine luxury item. I'm gonna send your way. You got it. Since that was, that, that was the idea was to uh, have something nice to schmooze them with. All right, so, so Misha is very bad at trying to pick up people and has not tried to do it in decades. So we're <laughs> oh, not this plan's gonna, gonna go great. Same. Well, here's some good news. Um, we can talk through it a little bit and we you can always say like, I walk over and I try to be as smooth as, as I can, right? Like yeah. the same way that I say, well, what does that look like, right? Like I'm, I can talk about it, but if you're uncomfortable, um, no, no, no. I, it's just I am not going to come up with any good lines. Is all I'm saying. That's fine. <laughs> all I'm trying to say is um, I don't make people tell me whether they use, you know, like a defensive repost of a whatever school. So I'm not going to gauge your position necessarily by exactly how perfectly witty you are or not. What I'm going to say is like, okay, what approach are you using, and describe it a little bit. Like, how are you coming across? Are you are you like? trying to pour some like stuff on you and like pretending you're drunk are you trying to like just be like like what's your excuse because like remember these are soldiers on duty right it's like so if you walk up to them and you want to chat them up that's okay but you need kind of like a catch like if you can give me an approach and a hook that's all that i, I really need from you uh i think he's gonna go with uh hey i'm new around here and just just chat with the guy and and like there's a flask to trade it between them if possible um but conversational friendly um hey what's cool to do i know it's i know it's boring as hell standing there i figured i'd come keep you company for a while all right uh so let me let me make a quick roll uh these folks are pretty tight they're tight like the legion and you know that if the legion found somebody that was on watch duty that got bamboozled like this they would be like yeah, you're not just peeling potatoes, you're peeling potatoes for life. Uh, but, uh, you know, so, like, th these folks are smart. Like, you you need, um, I'm going to say, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with limited effect here. Uh, uh -huh. And then you can tell me, like, do you push? Do you, like, what do you do? Like, yeah, you bust out some brandy, but they're like, why is a stranger coming down a street with, like, a fancy glass of brandy? Like, what's your excuse? Like, what do you, what do you pitch them? Are you, like... I don't see a lot of people from the Western King or from the Eastern Kingdom. So like, are you like, what, what's your, what's your like story? We're totally like, why you're playing up the, I, I, uh, the, the newbie starry eyed uh, preacher son who is out in the world for the first time. We're totally playing on the, I'm a total rube. Maybe, maybe you go the, I've been watching you for a while now. <laughs> like I said, Misha has no clue. <laughs> Jay to the rescue. Jay is coaching. And, like, uh, yeah. you've been Jay you've is been my out here. Yeah, you've been out here for a while by yourself, and I've been watching you. Uh, okay, okay. Jay, are you are you are you spending a stress for an assist so that that your yes. gets a die? Okay, yes. okay. So you're feeding lines. Yeah. That sounds good. Uh, let, let me just get this straight. Is Metali actually the smooth one here? <laughs> I, I'm just double checking. Well, your Jay is the smooth one. <laughs> I agree with your sentiment. I'm just curious if Metali busts this out because nobody will ever look at him the same way when the story gets back to camp. I'm just asking. <laughs> Uh, if, if he could control this story not getting back to camp, then yes, Metali is the sweet. <laughs> awesome. So, so is this like that scene from Stranger Things too, where it's like, okay, I'm gonna feed you some lines, but if you talk about this, yes, <laughs> okay, yes, uh, awesome. Let me spin the, okay, there we go. The stress is spent. Awesome. Yeah, I think so the approach funny. is uh, not the newbie, starry-eyed, but more of uh, I've been well, however long you've been here. I've had my eyes on you. I've been watching you for a little bit now. Where are you from? Uh, what's your family like? Hey, you thirsty? Look what I got. There you go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Awesome. It's a pretty sweet mech suit you got there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you wind up? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's let's see what the dice say. Uh, I'm I'm gonna say that's that's a pretty that's a good approach. I'm gonna give standard effect to that. Okay. Uh, so controlled. You said controlled standard. Mm-hmm. 
Wait, uh, well, the engagements rule said that this was risky. Yeah. And I think that there is still some risk, right? Like they might, it's it's tough, right? Like you got to sell it, right? Like, because they might be like, hang on a second. Are you wearing Legion colors? What the hell are you doing around here? Or like, it might be like, all right, all right. I'll chat with you, but you know what? Let's pull another guard on duty or like, you know, whatever. Cool. Hey, you do it, but there's a side effect. Uh, so I'm going to give you the side effect and then you can resist it if you want. There's pretty easy resistances there. Like, Hey, do you want some too? Like, uh, but I think that, uh, when you, when you walk over and you start up the conversation, um, the other guard, uh, I, I believe you're talking to the guy, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, the other guard, like kind of like rolls her eyes, like, God damn it. Why does this dude always get everybody? Right. But like, She's kind of channels that into like, well, fine. If you're not going to do your fucking job, I'm going to go report it and get somebody else out here because like we have a duty. Right. But it's not, it's not angry so much as it's like, I have to do this again. <laughs> like, this is not the first time this week. Uh, so like, uh, you know, not, now you can resist that. You can be like, Hey, 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 don't go yet. Like maybe we can have this drink together. All three of us. I have plenty to share. Right. Like that's the thing you could do. Um, or, or you can just let it happen, and I'm going to make an alert clock, and I'm going to put some ticks on it. Um, can I, like, uh, like signal to Metali to come and distract the, the, the nice blonde lady who's going to go and... and... <laughs> I mean, you can. Uh, if Metali wants to try and make a, a, a roll here to try and do that. That was not the plan. The plan was that everybody else like sneaks in like ninjas, but right, right, right. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I think. I mean, I think we're probably watching. So if you want to signal, uh, Dino might be like, "What is happening to our?" Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Much better than uh... <laughs> Wait, let me put a little <laughs> alert clock here. Uh. Yeah, I think he he kind of like uh like makes some kind of hey I'm floundering kind of kind of symbol <laughs> signal uh and and shoots up a a, a metaphorical signal flare. <laughs> All right. And yes, I totally think how does J how does the game handle Jay flirting with soldiers is certainly going to be a benchmark for it's any game. Yeah, going forward. Yeah, going forward. Uh, and, and second edition will definitely have flirting <laughs> a, a chapter on a flirting chapter. Uh, so 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 I don't know, Metalla, do you break off and and try and protect yeah. effectively here, <clears throat> uh, like i.e. take the consequence upon yourself and then resist it down, or are you just like it's on you. <laughs> the yeah. three of you are going to sneak by. Because <laughs> I think at the moment, Zynova is like, okay, cool. As soon as, like, you know, Indigo is engaged. Right, right. Let's go. Let's go. Over the wall. But, I mean, obviously we see this. So, uh, Jay, what do you, which uh, direction is Motali going to go? And even if it's just signal, like, something back that, like, he can do. Because... You're right. on your yeah. own. <laughs> right. No, I think uh, I will signal back like the the drink up, drink up. Oh. <laughs> Drinks all the way around. Drink up. Because we. I, I will him. also. I will right. also point out, Matali, you're cold. Do you leave him to hang? I don't know. You know, uh, it's the best teacher, right? <laughs> Experience is the best teacher. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Uh, all right, so so Misha, let me ask you this: Do you want to make a resolve resist to to negate the consequence, or do you yeah, want to? Uh, so I'm going to try to resolve resist. Um, okay. uh, he's gonna. Um, oh, hey, can uh, do you want one too? And and like pulls another cup off his belt and and fills it and, and hands it over. Nice. Do you have a cup? Check on that mech suit. No, <laughs> you were distracted <laughs> for ten seconds. I got one. <laughs> Didn't didn't get the upgrade with the cup holder. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> these make sense. We got a we got a clockwork guy. <gasps> Might be able to add it. Oh, I didn't see it. What? Uh, no stress. And go pulls. Oh wow, that's uh, that's pulling it out of the fire there. And go freaking nails that roll. Nice. Uh, cool. So uh, for the moment, they're going to be distracted. So I'm going to say the three of you sneaking across. Um, 
do you want to do like a group action? I'm going to do this as a setup and say that now you're in a controlled position because those guards are distracted. They're not looking for you. So it's going to be like controlled. Great. Yeah. I'm going to lead us in a, uh, in a scout. Uh, and by lead us, I mean, I'm going to say, uh, Cobalt, tell us which way to go and we'll follow yeah. you. Great. Um, are you effectively leading for the group action though? Yep. Yeah, we're all going to do a group cool. action. I'm going to lead it and, um, uh, we're going to be effective. We're going to be as, as small as one person. We're going to be down, down scale. This is controlled. Great. You said. Yeah. Cool. I got a six. Nice. <clears throat> no stresses. I would have been real embarrassed if I did poorly on three dice. Right? It happens. Uh, no. We, we, we managed to roll, five. what was it, Sean? 13 dice yeah. and not pull out anything higher yeah. than a three? Yeah, Zainova doesn't do it. Zainova gives you one stress. I, she gives herself Give me one. Hey, no stress from Vitaly. Vitaly's freaking on game. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> Although, uh, even if he had. So let I'm, me ask, uh, what, is, what is everyone's load? Normal. I mean, effectively light in normal. That sounds good. I went light. Uh, cool. So I think your group doesn't get any penalties and, and you slip over the wall with uh, no consequence and you're going to kind of... So they, they have... Uh, this is like barracks, right? So like there is actually like a wall between the civilian side and streets and things and sort right. of like the inside. Uh, so you get to the top of the barracks and you actually see the like stone constructed building where a lot of their like key personnel is. Um, and you can actually see a, a number of other, uh, there are smaller wooden buildings. Uh, there is one that was used to be like an armory. Uh, they have like a smithy, they have like a training yard, which is actually covered in a bunch of tents and they actually have racks and you see a couple of those suits of armor in the racks and you'll see people like, cranking away at them, taking off plates, like working on them, stuff like that. So there's actually a fair number of people wandering through this area. It's not like they're, um, it, like they don't have interior patrols very frequently, but there are people like standing at attention, standing at duty. Um, as a matter of fact, you see like when an officer walks into that stone building, they've got the like sharp salutes and like there, there's a lot of like status that the legion isn't quite as adamant about like mm -hmm. the officers here definitely force everyone to stand when they walk into rooms like that's the the vibe you're getting whereas in the legion if you're awesome and you got everyone's back and stuff like that maybe that's not required i don't know it depends on who's on a mission how you want to play that up I, i've never asked those questions so like i don't want to state it as a fact but it's a little bit different like the, the legion respect respects like skill and performance a little more these guys definitely stand on ceremony quite a bit more um so you know i i'm, I'm making some assumptions you, you you're the lore keeper you tell me if i'm wrong no i think that's totally fair Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, that, that's my vibe. That's the vibe I felt yeah. from playing the Legion is that we. In fact, I think that there's been times where we've made jokes about, you know, like, oh, you're supposed to stand when the officer. Oh no, you guys, I'm just kidding. Right. Uh, it's, it, it's that the whole theory, like, why force people to stand when you know they have your back and they'll die for you, you know, and you know that to your bones. Right. Um, but yeah, like. Uh, Legion respect is showed a different way. Here, it's very much enforced, and you get the idea that like performance is very important. These guys are probably bitching at a parade. Um, so yeah, uh, it's They're probably bitching at a parade, then, right? right? <laughs> Proper arcs of arms and everything. Yes. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. So that's what you see, and because you have great effect, and these people are distracted, uh, I'm going to ask you sort of like which building you want to jump into. And if you want, I can switch it over to screen and sketch out some buildings real quick if you want. Um, Does that sound good? Yeah, that sounds great. All right, let me boop. I said poop. Wow, why is that not working? Hang on one second. I don't know if I have like a, a subset of, come on, create a new page for me. There it is. Ha ha. Not boop. Ha ha. Let me drag you folks there. All right, so I'm just going to, this is going to be very, very rough. Please forgive me. Uh, I'm just going to okay. get some. You didn't have a map prepared. The all rights don't have cup holders. We make do. Uh, that's how I go. All right. Let me make a. Actually, I need poop. 
I totally want a mech suit with cup holders and all that. Yeah, right? I mean, who doesn't? I just want a mech suit. I, I mean, I'm not going to lie. Like, you were like, oh, there's a couple of those mech suits just hanging out. I was like, wait, we could do the Black Oak Night mission again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're all going to climb into mech suits, walk around, call each well, other. I got to get them out of the mech suits first. I'm working on it. <laughs> Yeah, I can't imagine those mech suits are at all quick to uh, hop into. Well, that's the thing, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say uh, there's uh, probably a, a small row of privies over here, which is roughly what you guys would have been sewer hopping to if you did. And then uh, you know, there's a, we're going to do some triangles for tents. All right, uh, yep. There's probably two more wooden buildings uh, up against the front wall. Uh, you get the sense that one of them may be like a uh, barracks and uh, there might be like an admin building. Shush, what is the um, relationship between alchemy and clockwork? Uh, they're both part of the same thing. It's just that Blighter does alchemical in terms of chemistry. Mm -hmm. And uh, the maker is uh, the one that does, um, uh, is, is tied to clockwork. Um, Orites can do both. And it's part of their whole three gods of civilization stuff. Yeah. But the uh, um, Blighter is corrupted. And mm -hmm. therefore, when you do alchemical stuff now, it causes corruption, as we've seen from our folks. Mm -hmm. But uh, the maker does not. So creating clockwork objects does not cause corruption. It's not as. Uh, so let me have a conversation with you. Um, it depends on how you make the clockworks go. So if what you really want to make is like a clockwork arm, it's probably non-corrupting, right? That's fine. Um, very difficult. And especially how you rig it up and train people to use it. You know, like it's not, it's, it's not the fantasy of cyberware. Um, but... If you make a steam engine, uh, there are parts that won't work. You need actual alchemy in order to make boilers that are tough enough to withstand the pressures. Mm -hmm. You're probably going to need fuel, which is going to have to be alchemized. Um, and all of that is going to cause corruption. So, uh, like, it depends on the project, right? Like, yep. once you alchemize, like, high-grade carbon steel or whatever uh, out of, like, common iron... Um, you know, you can you can then turn it into plates of metal by forging it, and that does not require alchemical procedures. That's just physical. Sure. So it, it depends. The answer is not quite as clean cut as you may think. Um, well, it's it's um, so it's a good question though. As we're coming over the privies, um, and this may inform what the building we're going to. Is I know it pulls out one of the reliquaries and sort of looks at it. You're like opens a little cap, and you know, reliquaries sort of react in the presence of blight. And yeah. she's trying to see if there's any, like, how strong blight is near it. If it's strong enough that it starts to bubble or there starts to be any kind of reaction. Or if there's, you know, she doesn't have, like, I don't think she could use, like, a tracking mechanism, but I kind of want to see, like, there's all this clockwork stuff, but there's also, we saw the alchemical, like, injectors and things like that. Yeah. Could not be the source of this blight. There, there. Uh, well, you pull it out and... You see like one or two small bubbles, uh, yeah. which tells you that there is blight somewhere relatively nearby, but not like you've seen it. Like when you're walking through that fog, this stuff is like, yeah, you know, but like when you're like here, it seems to be mostly like Neh. ambient like, levels. Like, Corey, what do you think? Yeah. All right. Uh, which which building did you say it looked like it was the command building? Uh, it's the big gray one. It's built of stone. Uh, yeah. All right. It's 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 the toughest to get to. You probably would uh, would would scooch along the left wall, and then I I, I imagine that the the like fortification wall is actually uh, the top right and, and the top and the right edges. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. Yeah. 
Uh, so they, 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 it's like a, it's like in a corner of the fort, right? Like there's, there's the, the fort walls, the outside walls are there and you get the sense that if it used to be the barracks, they want to deploy to the walls quickly and stuff like that. So there's staircases leading up to the top of the walls that are obviously, uh, manned. Right. And we're over here right now on the sort of. Yeah. Like, that's pretty- where I was envisioning you were coming from the West. Whoa. Whoa. Fire sorry. effect. Whoa. Look at that. Whoa, I don't know what's going on. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm just, I'm just looking for 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 a little 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 ruler to to point at stuff. Ah, there we go. Yes, I figured that you were coming this direction, but it's easy enough to say you had great effect. You could easily be behind this building, sort of like looking forward. Yeah, I think I think so. I think we're gonna want to try and sneak around this. Um, yeah. Uh, how um, how many people do we see sort of in this courtyard, roughly? Uh let me think about this. Uh, maybe twenty, less. Uh, that that like a dozen or so are uh, milling about. Um, they're not twelve people. The same twelve people are not like everywhere. It's just that on average, there's maybe six to ten guards, and then you'll see like a couple of people walking from building to building doing stuff. Uh, you'll see some people like reading a book. Uh, you'll see, you'll hear the, the the sound of like metal being pounded. Uh, that's actually very close to you, mm-hmm. so that would be like uh, hereish. Nice. I, uh, I click on that. It's thereish. Um, so yeah, like that's that's the building that you're next to is probably like got some storage space or something like that in it. Um, if you want to investigate, you got to tell me how you investigate, and we'll make yeah. scrolls. Yeah. Yeah. Um... So yeah, so Zainova looks back to Cobalt and Maltali and says, and he kind of shows the thing and says, I don't think there's any strong blight in this area, which probably means if they're causing it, it's not here or it's shielded from, it's, it's protected by one of these buildings, but whoever's in charge is in that, is in that giant building. Um, are there any windows to it, Strush? Uh, sure, there, there's some windows. Um... Yeah, you can peek in. Um, I don't think there's any like particular. Well, actually, no, 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 no. There's no built. There's no. No, there's got to be. If they have a smithy in there, there's got to be openings because that heat would kill everybody. Um, not to mention the smoke. Yeah, not to mention the smoke. Uh, so yeah, I think there are probably windows, and I think that if you if you want to take a peek, um, it's it's probably relatively safe. Yeah. Uh, if you take a quick glance, you'll see uh, it's basically an armory, right? Like they've got weapons and stuff on racks. This looks a lot like your quartermastery, right? Like, right. Uh, it seems to be where they're like storing stuff. Shit's labeled. There's boxes. Um, right. There could be anything in those boxes. Uh, I don't know. How's your all right? <laughs> <laughs> not good. Yeah. Well, you're, you're not 100 percent sure. And they use like weird guard mechanique symbols. There's a lot of gears and all right, holy symbols, you know, it's only somebody with research would know that kind of stuff. Too bad, yeah. you know, Rhea's not here. Too bad Rhea's not here. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, like, I know, but like Rhea would totally be all, no, I'm kidding. Um, uh, no, in, in all seriousness, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's storage space. Now, most people would be like, well, whatever it is could be in here. I mean, they could have some like weird weapon or whatever. So if you want to be 100% sure, you'd probably want to get in, put your like little reliquary right on top of those boxes. Yeah. But you're not getting the sense that anything super shady is going on. They have like one guard for the whole thing, which is not unusual. Like your quartermaster usually has one person on duty right. and there's probably like three or four people in the smithy, like working the bellows, pounding some metal, you know, that kind of thing. Right. And that's, that is this, uh, the smithy is this, is this large gray building or is this smaller? No, it's uh, the smithy is part of this building. It's like this section right here. Right, right, right. So that's what we can kind of peek in from the outside. Yeah. And right. this, this is like mostly for like storage and stuff. There's probably doors coming in this direction and this, this wall is probably open just so that the heat escapes better. Right. Um, like if you want to think of it, the smithy has like poles and a roof and then like chimneys for stuff to go out and it's kind of open uh at least in one direction so that the heat vents right. and then they have like a storage space that's properly walled in and has like division walls i just didn't dry in a very particular yeah, yeah, yeah. it's fine it doesn't need to be um uh yeah so i think zynova is inclined to get into this command building and hear what the heck they're they're having to say 
Uh, and I think this is the moment where she realizes like, crap, did we, and looks at both, both of you and says, how is either of you all right? <laughs> <laughs> You're asking an Aldermani boy and, and Mitali. Well, Mitali might be fine. Well, that's cute. Yeah. Tali and uh, and Cobalt. Oh, Cobalt might be Indigo's. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, Indigo's. <laughs> I assume that we kind of see, like hear Indigo laughing and. Ch- <laughs> yeah. I think Metali may speak better than he can read it. Okay. I think it's more practical, right? Yeah. It's also very Legion. Right. Right. I assume we all know some. I mean. Yeah. The right. Legion knows all. I, 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 this game is not written to create like a sharp division. The Legion has so many people, and they've fought across all four kingdoms that eventually you pick up some. Right. Uh, but there's a difference between, you know, like, um, like a first generation immigrant speaking a language, which they may understand pretty well and fairly clearly, but they, they, they'll usually have like an accent. It'll be like kind of obvious. And like somebody who, who's basically like, oh, yeah, it, that can pass for native. <laughs> Yeah. Um, cool. So I uh, uh, I think we need to says, yes, I know it says um, I think we need to keep staying along the the, the wall and uh, and get inside that command building or at least get close enough we can listen in. Um, so I, I'm uh, unless anyone advises that this is a terrible plan, I say we sneak around the back side kind of um, this away. I'm all for sneaking. Yeah. All right. Cool. Let's do a sneak roll real quick, and then we'll see how uh, Indigo's doing out there. Indigo's doing. Do you do you want me to just go out there and scout it? I don't want us to get separated. Okay. And I'm happy to take the stress. Okay. Let's 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 stay together. Yeah, I think when you ask, I'm I'm like Zaino was like. If any of us get caught out in here, out here, I want us to be together. Um, All right. So let me let me ask you a different question. How are you trying to 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 scout it, right? Because like that's not a small building. It's like a two story building. It's got stone walls. Um, it looks like a serious building. Um, are you trying to like climb to a roof and yes, go onto a balcony and sneak <laughs> that's in? That's what I want to do. Are you trying to yeah, yeah. You know, open a window and sort of like wiggle your way in. Like, how how are you trying to get inside? Right, like you can't scout the building from the outside very effectively. It's like looking at a parliament building and being like, "What's in there? What are they saying?" It's like you, you got to get in, right? Like it's it's not necessarily obvious. So, like, what's the what's the plan? Sell it to me because I can't set a position unless I understand what you're actually trying to do. Totally. So, if you're like, I would like to make this ten foot jump from this wooden building to that gray building, that's pretty controlled. But if you're like, well, we're gonna have to be climbing up the side of a building, I'm like, maybe risky. So like, how, how are you planning to do this? Yeah. I mean, I, I like climbing up a wall on top of a roof and then getting to like a balcony or a, or a, or a higher up window. Do you have um, climbing? Just me. No, cause we were, this was supposed to be a chicken mission. I thought you were going to talk. I really did. I'm kind of mad that we didn't. I mean, I, I get it, oh, sorry. but yeah. no, oh. no, no, I, no, I, it's fine. Yeah. Um, uh, you don't have climbing gear, but you do have scrounge and we're in a camp. I don't have scrounge. You're a, you're a, you always start with at least one. Oh, okay. If you're, you're a, a scout, you have, you have one scrounge okay, minimum. Gotcha. Yeah. I mean, we have, you have, you're, it, we're in a camp. And they have all sorts Oh, no, of- I do have a climbing kit. I'm sorry. I lied. I do have a climbing right. kit. I was okay. looking for it in the wrong spot. Cool. Yes. All right, all right, cool. So you have a climbing kit. Mm-hmm. So the climb's not going to be very hard. Um, all right. Do you folks want to give me a scout? To climb up the, the side of this building? Sure. I think so. All right. So two of you are light. Uh, Zainova, you're normal. Uh, so I'm just going to say this is standard effect. It's risky standard. Right. Oh, I did bad. <laughs> I stressed you out. I'm sorry. It's 
All good. One vessel pull through on this, I'm sure. These, uh -huh. these orites are messing me Yay! up. Trying to. Yay! Jay, you cannot mess us up. Ah, oh, nice. There you go. Every There's time. a light. Every time. <laughs> the double is. This is rigging. All right. So, so. Uh, let's let's ask this question. What almost goes wrong that uh, Zyanova and Metale managed to protect the scout from, right? Because, like, the scout's not incompetent. Like, there's not going to be, like, some giant clanking noise. Uh, but is there, like... I, I, I'm, I'm going to put two... Op oh, Misha, what's up? It's a loose rock. You know, you go... Oh, like a shingle? Yeah, and, and you go to put your foot down and it just slides. You're not expecting it to, but... Right. Okay. Right. I love it. Uh, no one of you catches it before it hits the ground. Yes. Ugh. Awesome. Yeah, I think I think uh I think Maltali is up top and uh Jay, tell me if this is okay for me to narrate. And you catch Cobalt like you know, like to brace uh to brace and then Zyno is still at the bottom and I like <laughs> grab the, you know, catch the string. <laughs> so the ground too loud. Nice, no, I like it. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, cool. So all of you are going to get to the roof without too much trouble. Let's shift the camera for a second. And at this point, uh, I believe you've got these two, all right, uh, you know, like sipping your brandy and like one of them's like, oh, yes, when I drank gold wine in the city of Or, you know, like they're they're kind of chatting. Um, Misha, how do you, do you want to extricate yourself from this position or are you trying to hold this like angle so that people can come back out? I just don't want to cut you off from the group. I don't know if you're like, oh, yes, yes, that's a fascinating story. I'm sorry. I have to go for right now. And then like, do you try and sneak in? What's the what's the plan here? I think that trying to sneak away, like trying to, to leave would draw more suspicious than probably to talk to them. So, do you want yeah. to convince them that you have to use the bathroom or something? Yes, so I'm like, like, that's easy. It's, uh, I gotta go to the bathroom. You guys are hanging out. You're drinking. You're like, hey, hey hold this bottle. I yeah, gotta let, leave the bottle with them. I'll be yeah, right back. Gotta leave the bottle. Uh, yeah, is, is there a latrine handy? And and just, yeah. Do you want to give me a, do you want to give me like a, a sway roll or a consort roll? Both are okay now, because now you're friends, right? Like, now you can consort with them. Now you can be like, hey, <laughs> I know you're on guard duty, but you, you know you can come with me. You know, yeah. I really need to use the bathroom for just all, like a all this going in has got to come out, right? Yeah, it's just you, physics. You, you never Biology. buy alcohol; you only rent it for a short while. Uh, uh. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. Uh, so what is it? Risky control? What? I, I think it's controlled. Uh, they're not super suspicious, and this is a pretty likely story, right? Like, I gotta go pee. Is not. Yeah, it's not weird. <laughs> it's not like, oh, you're trying to get oh. camp to do something evil. Like, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, you need to use the bathroom. Fine, I'll walk you. Okay. Uh, standard? Yeah. Okay. I want... I would love to give you an assist. I just have zero idea how I would trying to think help. Uh, if I want to push myself. The best form of assist is like a flashback. Yeah. Uh, whenever a party's separated that's usually like a good mechanism to engage with right like hey we planned for this this is what i told you or like this is how i assisted this you this is how we're gonna this is what we said we were gonna do to meet back up uh <laughs> oh my god just judd had the best quote don't count your chicken missions until they're complete <laughs> 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 that's going into the next book <laughs> Also, oh, the lighter counter is pretty good too. I gotta say, uh, <laughs> dousing purple lighter. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, say so a four. Okay, uh, so what that generally means is that you're going to end up in a risky position, or you're going to do it with a consequence. And so I'm going to tell you where you're at. Yeah. You're going to convince them to take you inside and take you to a privy. But now you're in a privy and getting out is going to be kind of risky because you've got this big guard outside that's waiting for you to be done. And I mean, you can make appropriate kind of like noises, right? And they'll be like, oh, it's going to take a minute. That's fine. Uh, but it's still a privy, right? Like it's not conducive to sneaking around in or with. So I'm going to put you in a risky position, which is 
if you want to depart, is going to be a little hard, right? Like you've got an alert guard outside kind of expecting you to, to be doing your business. So there's going to be some limited time frame. I'll probably put a time clock on the table. Does that sound fine? Yeah, yeah. Um... That's your consequence. So like I've taken you out of a control position, put you in the risky one where the risk is alarm, alert, that kind of thing. Annoyed guard. One yeah. guard? One guard. The other one's still out there like... Holding yep. the flask. Like, like... Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna say that it's the gal that gets the nice brandy outside, and it's the 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 handsome gent that takes you in. Because uh, like I think that's 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 the whole thing. And she's like, fine, if if people are gonna come at you, then it's your duty to wait for toilets. Aha. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um, Do you want us to? This could be the time when we flash no, back. No, no. So uh, I think he pulls out uh, his shaving kit. Okay. And right. he um uh, I got to know where this is going. Yeah, he's, got like, <laughs> he's got like some some of this like uh it's like a kind of like a bath fizzy bomb kind of bath thingy a noodle. Sure. And he drops it in so now you get the bubbling noise like oh, oh I like it. Uh yeah, um sorry about it. it's good. Ooh, uh that's uh going to be a minute. There are smells. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What did you eat? It smells like potpourri. No, uh... <laughs> no, but see, that's just it. So it's bubbling in a toilet. So it's wafting up all the toilet crap because. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, uh... Misha. <laughs> Why not? Uh... <laughs> yeah. No, I dig it. This is this is a, this is a good plan. Uh, is there a, is there a part two to this plan, or is it just uh, like? I'm hoping that there's like a window. Yeah, it's small, uh, but there is one. Like too small for person small. Generally, bathroom windows are not meant to be gone out through. Um, despite popular media, <laughs> despite popular media. Uh, but you know what? Uh, this is a TV show uh, in my head, anyway. Yeah. Uh, so I'll tell you what. It's a risky role, and there might be some consequences, including I'm going to force you to leave a bunch of your gear behind. Seems like a a, a great thing. For it to go to squeeze through, though, right? Like it's, it's not going to be pleasant squeezing through that. But you might have to take like your bow is not coming with you. But like you know, um, fine. She she he sets his uh, bow in the corner. Uh, I'll be back for you. Don't worry. Uh- <laughs> <laughs> Talk to your bow. That's adorable. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, leaves the quiver. Um, tries to like compact down to as as small a. Uh, actually, no, he ties it into a, a bundle that he can pull behind him. Uh, but everything else that's gonna be it because he can't like do that with the bow. So I have to through the window properly. Uh, but everything else, like smallish package that will come behind him, uh, and and sneaks out through the window. Uh, right. let's, let's see a scout roll here. Ooh, scout is good at it. Well, I, I actually, you tell me the action. Yeah, it just sounds like you're trying to sneak, which to me sounds like scout. So, like, if you have a different action, you can tell me. Totally works. Uh, risky, you said? Yeah. Standard effects? Standard, yeah. Boris, what the hell? Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, it's just, I'm going to give you a couple of consequences. Uh, the first one is that you're going to have to leave most of your gear behind. Anything that's larger than something you can fit in your pocket is just gone. Um, which is fine. I mean, you're like a ninja and you can probably scrounge up some weapons and armor around camp if you need to. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I'm going to say is I'm going to put a, a time clock on, uh, which is going to be the, the soldier expects you to be done and some time, but a reasonable amount of time. Like half an hour after this is probably going to be like, dude, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Did you and fall? Did you fall? Right. Uh, it's all right. Better out than in, I say. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's it's definitely not going to be all right. So I'm going to put a I'm going to put a time clock on okay. the table. All right. So there's some some consequences. Uh, let me get a, a look. Oh, 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 oh. I need the other selector. All right, good. Uh, this is gonna be your time clock, okay. and I'm gonna copy the um, I'm gonna copy the alert clock from the original map. All right, 
Uh, back to you folks on the roof. So you see, uh, you see your scout extricating out the back of a, uh, <laughs> the back of a, 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 latrine. a latrine. Yeah. Do you, do you signal? Uh, is there like an owl hoot or something appropriate? Uh, how do you, do, do, do you get them on board or are you just like, eh, he'll scout someplace else and we'll, we'll, you know. I totally have like an owl hoot. Awesome. That I hoot at my fellow Panyar scout. Who maybe, because like he just joined not that long ago, right? Uh, so correct. like he maybe doesn't, we haven't like had this conversation yet, but I assume that he'll hear it and yeah, if there's an owl hooting in the daytime, he's definitely looking around. Yeah. <laughs> I figured that this was evening or nighttime. I don't know why, uh, but I figured that it was uh, probably more likely because, among other things, you know, you can sneak around more effectively. Okay, fair. Um, the other thing is, I, I don't know why, I just imagine, like, a street light above these, like, suits of armor, and, you know, you walking up and being like, hey, hey. <laughs> right? Right. Uh, so we'll that, that's also a good time, right? Uh, you know, during the day, offering somebody some booze, maybe, but at night, it makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I was thinking as well. Yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. All right, uh, cool. So, uh, Misha, uh, do, I, I don't know. Do you folks uh, do, do you do you want to make a, like a scout role to join the like the, the crew on the the roof or? Uh, sure. All right. Yeah. You do have to get across the courtyard. You do have to weave your way through. It might take some time. That might put a take on the time clock. We'll see. I think it's uh, it's controlled, so it's probably just going to be one tech, but, you know. Controlled standard? Yep. Yeah. Um, we could help with this, too, if you wanted to coordinate. Correct. I mean, you, could, you could coordinate with, like, hand signals, like, go, 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 stop. Exactly. Uh, I have three dice, so I should be okay. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I got a five. Yeah. yeah, no problem. Yeah, you make it there. It's, it's going to take you a hot minute. Everyone's going to have to coordinate. I'm just going to add one tick on this clock here, unless somebody resists. No, nope. no, nope. no. We're good. All right, excellent. I Sounds like, good. I like the everything. Okay, right? Yeah. Burbling, <laughs> burbling from inside. Okay, <laughs> ABI. All right, uh, you folks are on the roof. Everyone's yeah. together. Um, you can easily hop onto a balcony. Yeah. Um. Uh, which. Uh, let me let me let me let me give a, a little fortune roll and see how how useful your your balcony hops are going to be here. I'm just going to give you like. I think I think uh, the goal right now is to be able to listen in and see what they're what they're talking about. Uh, yeah, I think that you find a room, um, but it's not like no one's having a meeting right now. It's like uh, someone's. It's like a study for whoever the, the guard mechanic commander is. Uh, so there's probably papers and stuff there, but there is nobody there having a conversation. Um, and that's kind of where you folks, like, you drop onto the uh, the balcony, you know, like somebody, like, just uses their knife to, like, lift a latch. Uh, and, and you sort of, like, filter in. And now you can hear motion just outside the door, uh, like there are people walking through the hallway. So you know right. that it's not, like, dead. <sighs> Uh, but you are kind of appearing, you know, later in the evening, like at night, uh, and the commander is not currently in their study. Um, she's not like signing papers or whatever. Right. Okay. Uh, I think we've established that none of us read or particularly well. Particularly well. But I mean, you might be able to be like, well, this is top secret, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I would like to use channels to say that um, since uh essentially to channel a a guidebook of everything we need to be looking for um because when we went we were sent on this mission it was by uh jonicus and jonicus had a uh, suspicion about them and so before we go on the mission i want um uh Zynova to say say like what are we looking for how do we know like we don't know the guard mechanique uh if you want to help us on this thing uh, what what kind of evidence are we going to look for um, on, in there with, you know? In, in so the one of the things that he tells you is that the guard mechanique actually was the reason why Blighter didn't get into the fort in the first place. They they engaged Blighter throughout like the, the fields and leading up to the fort. Mm -hmm. So when they showed up, they were in rough shape and he's not sure how, 
but several of the people that he remembers being kind of more blighted are not right now. Mm. He has no idea how that happens. So he doesn't have like it's the big round thing. Its silhouette looks like this. Well, right? I think, uh, I mean, if it's okay to carry that flashback a little forward, then I think sure. Zinova would go back to the alchemist and be like, is there a way to transfer blight from one person to another? Could they be infecting the, um, the, the, the townspeople? By, and to- I think there's like a moment when like the alchemists are like, what? That's, that's brilliant. How do you do that? Like, they're, they're like, well, you can take the blight from us, right? Like, that's great. Uh, but most of them are like, blight's a new thing. We don't actually know how it works. Uh, you should ask Zora. Uh, they're oh, like, okay. yeah, it's, we, don't, we don't have any blight transmutation. Has anyone, tr- oh, we should try that. And one of them's like, yeah, but if you try that, you're probably gonna get more blight. And he's like, oh yeah, that's probably bad, huh? So like, it's really funny because like the, the three of them like compare notes like scientists real fast. Like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, this is great. We should do, oh, oh, that's- No, no, no bad, bad, bad. Wait, wait. No, no, yeah. bad, 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 <laughs> oh, bad, bad. no, no, no. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, we could try it, but that would be, we could, we'd probably just get more. Like, they're like, yeah, that's, how does that even work? Well, couldn't yeah. you transfer the more to the, where the other stuff is going? Yeah, right. Um, uh sounds like that's a, a dead end but i mean if the, if like zora would have insight i'm still happy to to spend the channels to see if she you know i mean i i love this notion of zyanova like going from like one person to another because right now i like as sean uh no, no no it's cool it's cool oh. i think i think in this flashback zora will well why don't you roll your dice and we'll see what quality information you get because that that depends on how fucking vague is zora mm-hmm. <laughs> fucking yeah. zora here <laughs> oh she, she can be real sharp when she needs to be <laughs> if she, if but when she feels like that's fucking with you. <laughs> one way to put it um when being ambushed your flashbacks are zero stress and you gain potency to all on actions so, yeah i'm not being ambushed okay sway away shan sway away see if ready for anything would help me on this sway All right, fours. So typical Zora bullshit. No, actually. Uh, Zora says, um, I've seen blood. Uh, she says, uh, do you know where blood comes from? Zainova gets real interested. She's like, no. Zora nods like, mm. and then she says, uh, I've seen... The only type of thing that could do something like this, aside from a chosen, which they don't have or I would know, is something from the old empire. We're talking tech akin to the warding stones that you pass by, or one of the speaking pillars. This is well outside the cap- capability of your people at the moment. You're looking for something old, something that doesn't look exactly like the technology that you're going to see today. So it won't look like the other clockworks. It's not going to be small. The Empire never built things the size of paperweights. This sort of device is not going to be the size of your fist. It's going to be large. So old and big. All right, cool. So I think... It's vague enough that I'm not giving you detailed information with follow-up questions, but yeah. you roll the form, which means that you get good information. Right, and we're in the biggest building right now. It's That's right. Building, yeah. right. and it's going to be a big thing. So it's given you no, it's given me useful information. I think I recount recall it and say we need to get to the center of this building. We need to get to a large work area. If if they have it, and if it's here, it's going to be taking up a lot of space. Or a basement. Yeah, I was going to say, it's totally in the basement. Well, yeah. <laughs> we'll make a fortune roll. <laughs> Absolutely, it should be in the basement. Right, but it gives us, because up until now, we've kind of not known what direction to go, and this gives us sort of a direction. By right? the way, this is, uh, for all of you watching at home and those of you in chat, this is a perfect example of how to use uh, fl- a combination of flashbacks and powers, right? Like, um, we're seeing uh, really, really good 
abilities to be like, I don't know where to go. It's like, um, this is how we construct a role. Like, let's make it up together. And I'm like, well, I have to give you an answer. So now we clearly have an answer. Yeah. Um, nice. Also, I will remind our scouts, because we have two of them, that Scrounge can also be used to provide a place to hide. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's important for later when you're like. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, uh, anyway, how much scrounge do you have, Indigo? All the scrounge. All the. Scrounge. Oh, are you a ghost? Are you a ghost? Uh. Indigo is a ghost. Oh yeah, yeah, that's the build. Because <laughs> when you when you see like a, a scout suddenly spike high in scrounge, you're like. You can use a special armor to avoid the consequences of stealth, huh? So, yeah. All right, cool. Uh, so, yeah, that's where you're at. You're in the commander's room, and uh, you recall this, and you talk to people, and one of your scouts is like, it's definitely the basement. And you're like, well, I think it's probably in some central area. Um, where do you folks want to go? Yeah, I think. Just as an FYI, I also have six cents. If you're, there are, happen to be any undead, just, just say it. <laughs> just say it. Okay. Just, just throwing you that out there. You know the highest threat level of any undead in the area. That's... So if there's just if throwing it out there, think about that. Higher than zero. I think, I think your your sixth sense is is uh, tingling, but I don't think that it's telling you that there are undead there because you can you can kind of get a gist of where undead are, but uh, yeah, something's off in this area. But it's not it's not specifically undead. Your Peter Tingle is going. <laughs> I love that movie, by the way. I know, it's funny. Uh, cool. I I say we. So at this, so here's the funny thing is now I completely want to change tactics and just talk to them and be like, look, if this is what you're doing, like let's find a better way to do this. But it's we're pro we're perhaps in too deep. I was gonna say, but we can't just want like we can't just be in the study and have the the people show up and be like, let's talk. Like, well, we can't. Yeah. I mean, it's not going to go well desperate. for us, though. No, it would not. Yeah. But so here's the thing I would. Rules. Here's the thing I would like to. Uh, so Zion overlooks and says, "Look, if we can find if we can find evidence of this, I think we have a good, a good, uh, argument to to discuss this with them. If if they're doing what I what what it sounds like they might be doing, then perhaps there's another way. Perhaps." Uh, Instead of infecting people with blight and just throwing them out of the city, we could at least uh, spread it around, keep it contained. The alchemists seem to know something about that. Um, so yeah, I, I, I say we keep sneaking, but I'm leaning now more towards once we have a sense of what the hell they're doing, actually talking to them about it and trying to convince them to stop rather than um, it's not like we're going to be able to steal it if it's this giant piece of tech. Right. Um, None but of I us wanted... brought the hammer of Matiar, right? <laughs> well, we'll flash back for that. Okay. There might have to be a awesome. hammer of Matiar. We'll see. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. So I think let's listen at the door and then sneak, try and sneak down the way. Let's let's do it. Do we want to do a group sneak? Try and try and see how far we get. Uh, so I'm going to tell you off the top that it's going to be. I'm going to say actually like risky limited because I don't think that you can clear all the floors and get into the basement on a single roll. So it's probably going to take two rolls. That's what I'm saying off the top of my head. Now, you could make a argument for for how to make it go desperate standard. Uh, you could push yourselves. Uh, you could explain to me why you have potency. You could do setup actions. I don't know, uh, but that's that's where I'm starting. Is risky limited? Yeah, that sounds right. Um, I say we are moving fast, and we're. Um, Zano was really pushing to say, let's get this information. Because once we have it, maybe we can stop having to sneak around so much and we can just talk to somebody. But we got to get it first. We got to know what the hell we're talking about. So I think she's going to push us all to kind of go on the edges of our periphery rather than staying real close. We split up a little bit more and, uh, and, uh, and, and uh, encourages all of us to move with some hustle. All right. I say we so push to desperate desperate standard and get down there okay the consequences are going to be bad if this does not end up a six i'm just letting you know yeah sounds good let's do it Oof. we got a scout with ghost you got i was gonna say i have a three in scout and also i'm a daredevil so. oh nice so that's a four die roll yeah a four die roll 
Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna lead the action so that we're all, so we count as one scale smaller. And- Is it desperate standard? Desperate yes. standard, I think, yeah. Oh, I critted. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Nice. Well, that's good. Uh, no stress from Misha. No stress from Sean. Jay, how you doing? Uh, well, you know, I only have one in my stuff. So far, you've been friggin' killing it, though. <laughs> Playing uh, Zayanova. Oh, oh, there's oh. a final, finally, finally. Uh, just... Yeah, no, it was, it was time. All right. I was gonna so, say everybody mark XP for rolling desperate. Oh, that's true. It's an inside XP for everybody. Oh, did I roll? Oh, I rolled. Uh, it's okay. I still rolled the right amount of dice. I rolled. I rolled. Uh, I actually clicked on the Metali sheet, but. That's all. That's all. Yeah. That's cool. All right. All right. Take taking that one stress. Awesome. Uh, but damn, Cobalt, how do you kick ass at this? Um, yeah, I think um, this is, it's, it's the like maneuvering, right? It's like, I'm doing signals. Um, I'm going way ahead. I'm probably going more ahead than Zyanova told me to um, because now that we've been here for a little bit, like I'm getting the lay of the land. I'm understanding like, the, the layout of the building and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I think it's the combination of those two things. There's probably a moment where Vitaly has been kind of a ninja this whole time. And I don't think Vitaly stops being a ninja. It's just that like one person goes down a hallway, second person goes down a hallway, and then Vitaly starts going down the hallway and completely unrelated to anything you folks are doing, a door opens and like a guy is like still talking to somebody in the room and like steps out. So what do you do to like mitigate this guy just seeing a giant Vitaly in a hallway? Are you just like, and, like drag him into a closet or like what what do you do you, like shoot out a light with an arrow what's 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 the what's your technique here because you totally like cover right like th there's yeah. no argument you've got this nailed mm -hmm. but like what do you do to to, to protect Vitaly from being spotted um is it is it too corny to say that I shoot an arrow like at his clothing that like pushes him out of the way but doesn't do him harm Oh, we pin Matali to the wall. Yeah, Matali yeah. is about to step out, and suddenly he's pinned to the wall behind. Yeah. Him. So oh yeah, you just you just put an arrow in front of him. That's like yeah. you know, it's the it's the warning arrow with the red feathers yeah. or whatever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, neat. Uh, the guy looks down the hallway, but like the arrow is like perfectly dead on, so he can't see the feathers because they're just basically wild <laughs> lines on the, at the end of the hallway. He's like, yeah. mm -hmm. and, and Matali takes the arrow out on the way out. The pounding hands it back right to me. <laughs> awesome. Uh, cool. So yeah, you folks get to the basement um, without much further ado. Uh, there's a crit on the table, so like I'm not <laughs> going to give you any consequences here right at the moment. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm going to give you a great effect, which is that um, your great effect is that uh, you kind of get to the basement just as somebody's coming out of it. So it looks like either someone's going on a shift or something like they're done with whatever they're doing for right now, but like they're like stepping out. Maybe they're going to a privy. Who knows? They'll talk to. Uh, <laughs> um, they have multiple. You folks, uh, you folks like sneak into the basement, right? And like you, 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 you know, you go through the door, you get down this, the staircase and uh, yeah, you find the thing that you're looking for. Um, and uh, what you see there is actually kind of distressing. Um, the, 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 the thing that you're looking for um, has like these these rings and it's obvious that they've got like clamps for like people to be latched into them and as a matter of fact there's like a person attached to this thing and they look like emaciated and you can see like boils and disease all across their skin they're clearly blighted uh, but more importantly they've actually got like uh, uh, yeah I, I think there's there's probably like a dude attached to the device and you get the sense that like Maybe these people that came out either just finished using it, or maybe they were just guards on duty, just like watching this area or whatever. Uh, but like they departed for just a couple of minutes. You don't have a lot of time here. Uh, but yeah, like you see this 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 poor man, um, uh, like kind of like looks up and like looks at all of you. And these this thing is huge. Like it's got like 
uh, two of these like ring apparatuses. It's got like a, like a little chamber that somebody's supposed to stand in with like weird levers and stuff in the middle. It's got all sorts of alchemical symbols all over. It looks like basically like two stargates. Um, just slightly smaller because they're like person sized, not like I can drive a truck through one size. Um, but uh, yeah, the, 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 this, this, this horribly blighted dude kind of looks up and you, you can see that his like eyes are like milky white um, and like the disease is ravaging his body uh, and, and like he's, he basically like asks for help, right? Like, like, like he begs you to like do something like he does not look in good shape. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this, this is kind of what you're staring at and, and there's a lot of like rags with blood and uh, it, this area does not look super sanitary. It looks like they go through people here. Um, as a matter of fact, like you'll see like rivulets like going into like a small like sewer pipe uh, with like a little mesh on it. Uh, yeah, it's it. It smells awful. Blood and, drain. Great. Yeah. So, uh, what do you folks do? Nope. Don't like this. Don't like this at all. This is oh. wrong. This is what. It. It. No one person had this much blight. They've been, they've been channeling all of their sickness into this man. Yeah, and others like him. I, yeah, you kind of you kind of remember asking the alchemists, and you're like, "Well, what if we just put some plate in?" They're like, "Oh, it'll probably just make more." And you're like, "Hmm." Yeah. So. Uh, right, right. Maybe it's removing some corruption from some of them, but the net effect is causing much more to this person. I, Zor Zainova doesn't know details about Blight, but she's certainly picking things up. Um, yeah, I walk over to the man. Uh, is he conscious? Yeah, but not not in a good way. In the same way that like a feverish patient might be. Um. Yeah. Um, it does not look from the way you've described him, Strash, it does not look like this is a person who would survive Zora's cleansing. God, no. Right? Like, he's hold, he's he's barely holding no. on. Yeah. Right now. And so I think she looks and says, do you have family? Do you have anyone uh, you care about here? Actually, he says, uh, he says, you, like, he's speaking to you thinking that you're one of the, the guard, right? Yeah. And he says, like, you know I do. Yeah, but I, I hang on. I guess I have to do the whole like, you know I do. You know, and 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 he like tries to like squint through his like uh like milky eyes like at you, and he says, like, you promised you'd give them the money. Give me their names. I will send them your message of love. And we will do what we can for them. Cool. He gives you he gives you three names. Cool. Uh, and I kill him. Yeah, I figured. <gasps> mm -hmm. uh, while while uh, Zayn was doing that, uh, Indigo's like grabs a piece of paper and he's just like s writing down and like sketching as best as he can what the hell this is. Yeah, like a like oh. a like some charcoal uh, or chalk yeah. and and like just like some paper. Yeah, talk to yeah, yeah sure. So that they can figure this shit out later because yeah i don't know what this is and i don't like it um we didn't bring a grenadier did we uh shit uh no but we, we might have a i look at metalli <laughs> uh, what's, what's the plan boss i mean i was <laughs> I gonna say what happens to this machine if we just put a shit ton of reliquaries in it Oh yeah, all your reliquaries are like, mm -mm, mm, it's bad, it's bad. <laughs> oh, I, just, I don't even think we need to necessarily put the reliquaries in it so much as break it so they can't be used again. Yeah. yeah and I brought a wrecking kit. That's what I was thinking. That's why I'm looking at Metallica. Also, we can flash back to having the hammer of Matt TR. Oh yeah, absolutely. Pull it out of the... Um, but I think we should have a discussion about this. I think we're all on the same page though. Yeah, we're gonna break this thing, right? As soon as yeah. I notes, right? As I mean, as I was this... I was looking at the mission, right? And I, it's unclear in the mission whether or not bringing back intel about this thing satisfies the, you know, conditions. You've discovered, or okay, so you have discovered that the guard mechanique is indeed the source of the blight in the city. If you just report that to Jonicus, you're done. 
Yeah. Yeah. Right. But, but. <laughs> uh, but there's no way Zyno, you know, Zynova's take, there's no way that this, this tool can exist without the people in power taking advantage of the people who are weak. That this tool only yeah. reinforce that. Well, and, and just used. telling Jonicus about it doesn't mean that he'll be able to get access to it and like change the way that the guard is using it. But we're not leaving this in their hands, right? Hmm. Can we sabotage it so the next time it's used, um, it breaks or whatever? That's really hard. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Let's let, let me. Uh, does somebody have a research role they want to make? Now, it's a very difficult role. Uh, and the reason I'm going to say that is this is pre Empire tech. Yeah. Breaking it is doable. Like, right. if you folks want a hammer of Matty Artists into the ground, yeah. That's totally doable. But understanding its mechanisms enough to understand how it works in order to sabotage it, very difficult, right? Okay. Like none of you are alchemists. Even alchemists would only have a partial understanding. You'd really need a Zora. Uh, like it's, this is complicated, right? Like sure. they're, they're messing with something. They found something somewhere that does a thing and why they have it and how they're using it is not, well, how they're using it is very clear. But like how it works is not 100% clear. This is not something you could just like, We've gotten some notes, but this is not something you could just casually replicate, right? Like it uses pre-empire tech and like alchemy that the modern world doesn't really understand, right? right. That that stuff got lost when the empire got shattered. How how uh, sturdy does it look? How how breakable does it look? Uh, I mean, it's sturdy, but not like can stand up to Matali with a wrecking kit sturdy. I'm just wondering like, how much noise we're gonna make. Oh, right. it's it's not gonna be quiet. Right. But I think it's gonna be quiet. And but so the thing is, sabotage. you have, no, it's a, it's an excellent question. Uh, it depends on, I don't know, how, how many more channels does Zyanova have? Can, can you get grenades? <laughs> do you want to attempt to modify grenades? I do not. No, that was my one channel. So. Okay. So the thing is, you folks have faced Heartless and other things before and gotten out. Um, I think when Metali starts to push, uh, you you can you can have a forcible exit is what I'm trying to say, especially yeah. with the hammer of Matiard. I was gonna say was also it? the two, there's two scouts with scrounge, so like we we can get a way yeah. out. I'm yeah. not super concerned about that. Yep. So I, I think that's it. We're going to. We're what going happens to... if we put the guy's body in the in the spot that's meant to take corruption away? You need somebody to be in the the, yeah. the other spot. Right, the other spot. Yeah. Not it. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> uh, well, the thing that I'm trying to say is also the guy is now dead. At least no, I know. I get that. Okay. Yeah. I understand that. I just was was trying to to think of an unconventional way. You are good to, at that. <laughs> to do the levers, <laughs> no, like <that's>... no. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, alternately, right, like a machine is a machine is a machine. Some of like this one is clearly like more sophisticated and more technical, but machines still need power. Machines still sometimes have, um, you know, runoff or exhaust fumes or, or whatever. Um, and generally machines don't work if you cut off their power or if you prevent them from venting whatever it is they need to vent. Um, stuff with bananas in the tailpipe? Kinda, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean- Rig? Rig, wriggle, wriggle work, you could attempt to rig it. Right. Probably be desperate. Um, no, nah, it'd be risky. Uh, and, and the risks may manifest in other ways, like it's, it's tough, right? Like you don't really understand this tech. Uh, you, I think Jen is making some good arguments, uh, but they're not. Yeah. Right. You're not sure, right? Like you're looking at this thing. You're like, I don't know. It looks like it's made of stone. <laughs> what does it run on? Mm -hmm. Is it that glowy stone that they have there? Or is it the the gray stone? Is it the black stone? Is it the metallic look? Is the, I don't know. How like, does how is 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 black shot have anything any effect on corruption or blight? Uh. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. It's black shots. One property is that it kills things that are already dead. That's a superpower. Okay. It was considered a, a hilarious curiosity back in the day that nobody right. could find any I use could, for. I th I could find tons of use, like get r getting rid of necrotic flesh, right? Cleaning out old wounds. Um, Question. 
Yeah. If you put a reliquary in water, does the water become holy water? No. No. I mean, the 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 piece of of the chosen is really what gives the reliquary its power. Right. So like it, when you have certain like relics that are like pages of script, it usually has like chosen blood mixed with ink. <laughs> I love I love it. <laughs> <laughs> what if right so i mean we've got uh do we have anybody here who has corruption or blight that's living among no. us i don't think so no, no. Mm. Batalia's too uh, Batalia's, yeah. so uh so Batalia's Batalia's four. four so so reliquaries um are are bits of body right yeah so we yeah. put the reliquaries in where the guy was and Mitali goes in the get rid of my corruption spot on the floor. It, you have to understand, like these things have like manacles and like positions for a person. It's it's not the kind of thing that you can take like a little vial of liquid uh -huh. and replace a human body with, right? Like it it, it it's it's the, the mass differential is not small. <laughs> Jen, is your is your goal to try and figure out a way to use it, or is your goal to try and figure out a way to destroy it that's less that's more subtle than? I want to make it. I want to make it not work in a subtle way that's not like like you know turning wow. it into like a big hunk of junk. Right. So I think I think what we could do is like employ methods like this, and we could all try one big group rig that we're all terrible at. Mm -hmm. Give it a shot. And see if we can essentially, I think, you know, what we were talking about earlier was sabotaging it, like mess with the feeds, mess with the outtakes. Um, Crosswire some yeah, stuff. Yeah, because if all of you push and or Metalli assists, you could have one person with two dice, other two people with one die. May not be the best thing that you've ever done, but you could pull yeah. something out. I'll, I'll lead a rig that I am not don't know at all, but I'll take the stress for it. Are you loyal? I'm loyal. So there you go, that's a I die. Got a dot. I got a dot, as long as I'm working with you. Working, working with my with my squad. So yeah, I think if your thought is like let's let's be smart about this, we're taking a, a bigger risk, but we're not a bigger risk, it's a different kind of risk. It's just we don't understand it. And the hammer of Matiar is plus one D to both wreck and rig rolls. So we can we can do that. Is that is that your feeling? Are you asking me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't have any better idea, so. No, I just. Well, I think your idea can work. It's just uh, you're trying to rig it to not work and, and do it quietly. I think it's doable. I think it's just your folks are not the engineering division. So yeah. you do the best that you can with knowledge, common sense, and teamwork. This is not the Army Corps of Engineers. This yeah. is the Army Corps of Soldiers. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, cool. So uh, it sounds like, Sean, you're saying, hey, I'd like to rig. I'd like to flash back to having the hammer. Marcus, yeah. your best. Uh, and uh, how about, how about uh, Misha, Jen, are you, are you folks in? At yes, least one of you should probably be. Ah, there's like one moth in my house. <laughs> yeah. And I think I'm going to be probably primarily coordinating. I'm like, OK, pull, you know, pull that, pull that stone out. Let's see what happens. And, and uh, and uh, it, it will seem as though there are many of us all working at once. <laughs> like our scale of engineers working on this project. I don't think scale matters here, but. No. <laughs> Me, Misha, do you have, does Indigo have any rig? Uh, yep, yeah, I have rig. Okay, I'm going to assist then because I think that's a better use of my stress all right. than cool. pushing myself. Right, so so Misha, Misha, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assist you by. And Jay, did you want to assist yeah. Sean? Yes. All right, cool. Oh, mark the stress. <laughs> uh, Misha and Sean, so you're each getting an assist. Uh, yep. so you will have plus one D. Do either of you want to push? Uh, okay. So Misha, you'll be at three dice, so or plus two dice, I guess, and, and yep. Sean. I'm going to be at plus one D from the hammer. Yep. Uh, and plus one D from uh, loyal and plus one D from the assist. So there you go. You know, this is in blades, why you don't give up on zero D rolls. Very good plan. Uh, good plan there, Jen, and good execution team. Let's see what the dice say. Yeah, risky standard. Risky standard. <laughs> uh, That's a stress. Yep. Yeah, That's one stress. It's okay. I'm fine. Cr 
crit. That's a crit. Hammer of Matt T R. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll say I have. I've been rolling. You know, eh, like most. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. But yeah, I think where it counts. Uh, so between the two of you, like Indica's, like I don't know, is this a power source? Uh, but for you, um, yeah, you you've got that vibration. You can I see think the. I think how to break the, the hammer, like you know how I was earlier, like pulling out the reliquary, like to see if it guide. I think the hammer is like guiding my hand. I'm just yeah. like holding it out, and it's like it's it's zapping the thing, and I'm just like, what you know, and like and like tick, tick, tick. oh, so you detect the power source by like yeah. taking where the zaps are coming from or whatever. Yeah, that's that's it's cool. Like that scene that's of the Princess Bride where he's got the sword out and he's waving <laughs> yes, it out. Yes, totally. To the, to the to the switch. <laughs> yes. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, uh, like, so yeah, so like everyone's helping, right? Like Mitali's like opening up these giant stone edifices, like pulling up big blocks. You're getting in there and like messing up the stuff. And yeah, all of you working together uh, are pretty sure that you've managed to break this thing past the point of recovery. <laughs> nice. Because <laughs> uh, like, yeah, you're, there's, there's some parts that you're just like, yeah, that's not a thing we can make anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so, can, I, can the great effect be that we we take some of them with us, some of the smaller parts with us to give our alchemists? We take the spark plugs. Yeah, we take. <laughs> okay, some of them. you you want to take pre empire tech for corruption transference and give it to your alchemists? Yeah. Oh, cool. That's a terrible that's a idea. That's a terrible. Nothing can go wrong here. They'll 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 have a great time with it. The thing is, if we were wrecking, I would say this is unreasonable. We're destroying the whole thing, but we're not. We're rigging. We're taking. I, I'm apart. not saying it's. A, I didn't say no, Sean. I just said that's a great idea. I think Sean is speaking to me and Misha, who uh, are like, no, 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 bad. Oh, bad. I mean, I know it's like, maybe we should take all this back to camp. What do you think? Our alchemists could probably do cool stuff with this. Yeah. How does everyone feel about that? I mean, it's like you said, it's a machine. It can be used, if it's used for one thing, it can be used for something else. Um, so yeah, there's a point where Zyanova like pulls out a part and is like, this is intact. And, and you know, uh, yeah, if you all think it's a terrible idea, uh, what does that look like? Are you folks like Zanova? Are you kidding? Or are you just like uh <laughs> sword? Like what's 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 the uh I think that I actually say uh I know that you think that the like giving anything to the quartermaster is a good idea and it will put you in his good graces, but like stop. This is a terrible idea. I think so Indigo hasn't secrets. been around long enough to figure out if Zainova's joking or not. So he's just looking at her like <laughs> you want to the thing with the look I don't know about you but I don't want to put anything that can do what it did to that guy anywhere on my person so many secrets lost something should not be kept I mean I'm not gonna like stop you but I think it's a terrible idea I guess you are the in fact the officer. Yeah. Uh, but this is the like, Legion's decision, right? Like you are technically in charge of this mission. Like you oh, can yeah, yeah. attempt yeah, to Zanova, discipline them. Yeah, is that of a consent? No, it's like it's a shame nothing could be recovered and she smashes it, you know, she's got the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So I guess yeah. what's left is a, a scout roll to GTFO and uh, then we, we call the mission. Nope. So, I, I kind of want to, if if you're into it, I kind of love the idea of making use of your scrounge that the scouts keep finding us like hiding spots on our ways out. So uh -huh. we're like, okay. get to this point, hide, get to this point, hide, you know, because like we have a long ways to go. We gotta go through the building, out of the complex, all that jazz. I'll tell you what, if you find two, if you spend two scrounge, I'll make this um, risky standard. Cool. One roll, everyone's out. Does that sound fair? Yeah. All right. And I uh, exit through the latrine. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if, if you if you if you get a, I'll make it this way. If you get a six in your group, you can exit through the latrine. Okay. I just want my stuff back. Yeah. I, I understand why. Yeah. You told your bow you would be back for it. You gave it your yes. word. I mean, it is a Panyar heartwood heartwood recurve, and I will point out that Panya is burning. Those are very rare nowadays. Uh, yeah. All right, let's all do a big scout roll. Who's leading? I'll lead it. Cool. I got How's your stress there, Z? 
guess what? Because I am a tactician, ah, I can yes. at most one stress from this. So my stress is a five. Uh, to this you you mind. You'll max, but you'll be fine. <laughs> no problems. Uh, this this flexing her officer muscles. Go ahead. Risky standard, you said? Risky standard. Risky standard. All right, well. You have fours. <gasps> okay. There's your stress. So good, good for. Oh my God, Misha. <laughs> yeah, good that uh, I have tactician, so that wasn't trauma. What's like snake eyes times three? Yeah, I know that's crazy. <laughs> Our best roll though is a four, so. Uh. All right, so I'm gonna say a couple of things here. Yeah. I think. Uh. I, I think you end up in a bit of a jam. Mm -hmm. I, I think that that you folks would have been absolute ninjas and just been out normally, except that the crew that left goes back to the machine and realizes that the guy is dead and it's been sabotaged. Can I and resist so, some of that? Huh? Can I resist some of that? You, oh, absolutely. I definitely uh, want to resist some of that. I, I think what's going to happen is like the camp's going to go on high alert. Like they're going to sure. fire up flares. There's going to be bright lights. They're gonna be looking for you, right? So, like, you folks can be gone by then, uh, but I'm gonna say that uh, if you resist, Jen, mm -hmm. everyone's gonna be out, but you're gonna have to leave the bow behind. Can I instead? If you I both want to resist, that's two effects. Right. No, I mean I am perfectly fine being stuck in the latrine. Oh, I see. You're oh. going to try and talk your way out. No, that's wonderful. Yeah, Jen, if you want to resist, you'll get the other three out. Or the other okay. two out, sorry. You three out is what I meant to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is, and, this is insight. Yeah, it's, it's the consequences of a scout roll. Uh, I got four. So I need, two, what is that, two uh, stress? That's fine. You take two stress. Uh, oh. It still happens. The, yep. the, the three of you are out. And then Misha, I think that when the alarm is raised... Uh, you're, you're, they're gonna, they're gonna pull you out, uh, like not, you know, violent. Well, probably not violently. The, the, I mean, they'll, they'll be looking for people, right? So like when someone's like, why are you not at your post? They'll be like, oh, I have a guest that's in the, in the latrine, right? Like, and they'll. That's gonna seem uh, suspicious, All right? Right. So you're gonna have to fast talk your way out of this. So all I'm gonna say is like, you're in risky position. You're gonna be talking to an all right woman, uh, in like some, some fancy garb. Uh, she seems in her like mid forties. Uh, she's, she's giving you like, she's looking at you with suspicion. She thinks that, that you've had something to do with this. Uh, you're basically going to be interrogated. So if you want to give me some sort of role to like convince them, like I had nothing to do with this. I just want to share some drinks. I'm like, look at me. The worst thing that I have is like a bow. Like, did, did you find arrows? Like, you know, you can, you can try and like talk your way out of it. It's just, she's canny and she thinks you've had something to do with it. So this is, this is pretty risky. Yeah. Um, He's gonna, yeah, yeah I, I, look, I ate some, there was this mushroom stew, and it was, and it's not sitting well, and I, yeah, I didn't, it's, no, I didn't do anything. Uh, awesome. Uh, so you're trying to lie to them? Yeah. It sounds like you're describing a sway action. Yeah. This is just a risky sway, risky standard. Um, uh, let's see. Okay. Have any sway. Is, uh. Consort, you're stronger. Yeah, I have a one in consort and a zero yeah. in sway. So, so, so maybe you double down on the on the uh, distraction action uh, instead of uh, um, the stew. Maybe it's hey, look, we're having a great time. We still got drinks left. Let's uh, let's finish this bottle, right? We're friends now. I think that would work if it wasn't the guards. Or if it was the yeah, guards. Are, you know what? Are, I'm gonna make it desperate, but it's gonna be it's gonna be uh uh it's it, it it's gonna be still standard. These are new yeah, guards? I thought these were the old guards, I'm sorry. Uh, these are some of the old guards, but there's at least one commanding officer that's like, gotcha. look, gotcha. I got to interrogate the new person. Gotcha. And if you're like, I you can interrogate me, but can we have a drink while we're being interrogated? Because you have no idea how good this brandy is, right? Yeah. Or, or whatever. Yeah. Sean, what kind of drink did you, did you, did you luxury item? What, what kind of drink would Zyanova have? Um... 
<laughs> radish vodka, but like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, you're talking about fine fine aldermani vintage is what you yeah, talk about that's so like, like i don't know you you tell me like did you did you so get some nice... kind of really nice schnapps it sounds like yeah i was i was talking about brandy which is i like yeah i, I like brandy that 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 you said it and that kind of got stuck in my head so yeah. okay so it's a nice it's a nice fine brandy well, like a nice bottle of schnapps like whatever the the uh, yeah, uh, if you say it's brandy, and, and I'm sorry, I just kind of ran with it. Like I picked. No, the, I like it. It's good. Like, that sounds like appropriate oh. for the region. Me. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, um, cool. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's gonna like look. I I didn't do anything. You know, you can search my stuff, and there's not gonna find anything. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you can search my stuff. Look at me. Also, I had these drinks. Also, everything's fine. You know what? No, I'm gonna keep it risky. Let's let's do a risky. Let's do a risky consort. I think you're. I think it's not desperate. They are suspicious. It's a little bit of a tough sell, but it's not that tough a sell. I think. I think Jay makes a pretty good. Like, hey, we're having a good time. Let's all just be friends. Like, look, this is a stressful evening. This will help take the edge off, right? right. And and there's a degree to which it is suspicious that you came into camp at the same time as this happened. But at the same time, there's also nothing particularly tying you to yeah. that. Like you're in a whole different building. You don't, like you said, you don't have the equipment. So yeah, I like that. This is really good alcohol. It's very nice. It's it's a luxury you gotta item. Gotta try it. I mean, come on. Uh... I'm trying to figure out if any of us can assist. Only via flash. Well, actually, Sean, you could assist via flashback by making like being like, look, I provided you with a drink that's hard to resist. You know, uh, which is canon. Like maybe BSOP. Like I think I think Sean's full up on stress though. Oh snap! <laughs> yeah, I think if I resist and trauma out in a flashback, it doesn't make any sense. Uh -uh. Jay, it's up to you. Maybe, maybe you gave the smooth line as a parting gift. I don't know. I could do that. Uh, <clears throat> I think uh, maybe it's a little bit of. Uh, uh, I just noticed too that one of my cultural traits is warm, which is. Uh, interesting because you've also got cold yeah uh -huh. <laughs> i do uh Fun. <laughs> i like so maybe... the dichotomy though like because sometimes you're just like f people and sometimes you're just like Teddy bear. i know that it's f people but this is how you do it the other way <laughs> <laughs> so i think that's what it is i think maybe early on uh there was some advice about hey you got to use the stuff you have right and you've got some great uh uh alcohol here uh, uh fill cups and keep talking uh, and keep moving. Stick to your cover story. <laughs> right. Yes, no matter what, go down with that story. All yeah. right. Live and die by that story. Uh, so Marcus Stress J, uh, Misha, you get plus one D. Do you want to push yourself? I cannot. I, I, I only have one stress left. I cannot. Uh, I tough tough cannot. days. This, this is where backup is super great. But yeah. yeah. Uh, Throw the dice. Let's see how it goes. After those trip ones. <laughs> yep. That was rough. Got it. Oh my god! <laughs> the guys hate me today. Oh no! <laughs> yeah. I think the algorithm's broken. Yes, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. That's Five it. ones in a row, Yahtzee. Yeah. Uh, I know. Yeah, I think there's a moment. You're like sitting at a table. You've got the drink, you know, like on the table. You've got your gear with you and your bow, like next to the table. But I think this commander is like looking at you and you're just like, come on, we're all friends, right? Like here, have a drink, you know, it'll be fine. And you're like, I'm using consort. And this, this lady is just like not buying your shit, right? Like you're just like, it's just a coincidence that I was here at the same time. I mean, I was in the latrine, mushroom stew, right? Like, and, and this woman's just like, no, I don't think so. Like, I, th I think that you're a distraction and I think that you are involved and I think that we are going to trade you for whoever the hell it, like if, if we cannot catch them, you're going to pay the price. Right. And, and like, you get the idea that you've lost any chance of consorting with this woman. So like, if you want to escape, you're going to have to do it a different way. <laughs> um, let's, let's talk about the, the, the uh, rest of the scenery for a moment. At this point, are we out? Because I'm thinking- we Yeah, you folks also... are out. You see the alarm go up. You see the lights like blaze on, like they alchemically ignite them. Um, you see like all the guards like getting into the armor and everything. Like stuff is pretty hectic in there at this point. Right. Or at least getting hectic. 
because uh, Zayanova has never suffered any consequences for trying to distract guards uh, to lead people uh, away. Uh, I'm thinking we can maybe do a setup action now if you run out of there, where we, uh, where we, uh, you know, um, give them chase. I was gonna say. Also, I still have a use of scrounge. Yeah. So yeah, but you gotta, you gotta get your, you gotta get your person to you, right? Like you gotta get them to the place. Right. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, Misha, there's like a hundred different things. You could just be like, "Cool, this is a maneuver roll now, and I'm running." Uh, or you could be like, I don't know, I fight my way out. Like you could, you could dive through a window. I don't know. Like how, do, how do you want to handle this? Um. I think he like stands up to his full height and and looks at the uh, the the uh, other officer like. Do you really want to mess with the Legion that just came through that by keeping us here for no reason? I think she she stands up and she like adjusts her coat and fixes the, the fine all right pistol on her belt and crosses her hands so that one of her hands is really close to that handle and says... You asinine no-gooders managed to win one fight. We have held Blighter off for the better part of three months. And, and just like looks at all of you and she goes, oh, you think I didn't read the reports about how she spanked you up and down the Western flank? She goes, yeah, I'll take the Legion on any day. Do you think you can handle our armor? We are the guard mechanique. So what I'm saying is this is a desperate position, <laughs> but you you might be able to make that role. You might be like, yeah, lady, your bluff ain't good enough. You, you trying to discipline her? What is this discipline of which you speak? Oh, I, I you were talking shit at her and trying to put her in a place. I feel like she has a lot of discipline. You may not have many, but then you might be like, yeah, no, I'm out. <laughs> like you just be like, I tried this. This is, this is not yeah, the tag I want. Thank so well. Um, <laughs> I think look you make some pretty good points and then she actually turns and bolts <laughs> <laughs> awesome uh, so uh, I believe this is a this is a this is a maneuver is that what I'm hearing that's uh, running right yeah, yeah okay yeah, I think she, uh, he's gonna run and and try to get to cover and, and hide as quickly as he awesome can. Uh, I think this is a risky maneuver I can help with a flashback. I was gonna yeah. say, don't you have ghosts, yes, Indigo? Yes, I, do. I do. In fact, I'm ghost. I'm not sure how I, ghost applies here. Yes, yeah, that's what I'm trying to. I mean, walk, yeah. Walk, once, you, away, once you get out the window, I'm yeah. To, to yeah, yeah. Try to hide because I cannot obviously hide while. I feel like we watching. could provide since you provided a distraction earlier. I don't know where you're going with where you're going, Jay, but I feel like if if you want to try and scout out instead of maneuver out. Um, and sneak away. You know, we could we could pr provide a distraction so that you can try and slip away unnoticed rather than trying. No to problem. But first, you're gonna have to deal with a suit of armor and a woman with a pistol in a room, uh, yeah. which I believe is if you say, "Well, my action is scout," I'll be like, "Cool, cool, good story." Yeah, uh, zero effect. Desperate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, that's why I say a distraction. There. Something substantive enough yep. that it would cause it would distract. Absolutely. My thought was, uh, in these conversations Metali was having, uh, that part of that is to, hey, uh, somewhere in there while you're talking and being distractive, make sure they get you to the latrine. Um, so you've got some place to maneuver around in there. And then as we were heading out, uh, I have my wreck it kit. And so maybe I, uh, are there explosives in my uh, wreck kit? Not usually, but we can talk about where you're going with this. What, what are you trying to do here? Oh, I just want enough to maybe rattle the room a little bit so she, uh, so uh, he can make the maneuver roll to get out as a distraction. Okay. Um, I will point out that, for example, flare guns might, right. do, the, might do the trick. So that um, when we're coming back and uh, we, we notice that we're missing a member, right? Maybe. Okay. I, right? I blow 
you're like scanning back and forth and then you see like one window blow out and like a paperweight or something go out of it and you're like uh-huh boom right <laughs> yeah all right that sounds fine nice. uh, stress awesome Metali uh fires off a flare in your general direction whether it's through a window or by a window but it buys you a flash of, for a second of like super bright light coming in it's your distraction there all right so risky standard yeah Hey. Hey. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, I think there's probably uh, okay. So I'm gonna do the standard consequence, right? I think you come out the window, uh, and I think that the commander like snaps off a shot, right? Like the the, the power armor is not gonna catch you because you're like light, you're fast, right? Like they're not gonna grab a hold of you. The clockwork, the the, the clockwork armor. Uh, but yeah, the you you know you you shoulder out, but you're still dropping down like a story or two right and that's it's not an easy landing when you're fully prepared it's much less of an easy landing when you're hoping that there's a distraction you're jumping out while shielding your eyes and so on and so forth so i'm gonna say uh there's a crunch and you're gonna take level two harm uh dislocated shoulder uh i would like to try to resist that yes i am going to uh because because cobalt's a, a, a panier and and is used to uh, trees and and falling from like out of yeah. branches and stuff, so he's just gonna perform a, a wonderful you know roll out. What he tuck and roll, just, sure. Just tuck and roll, just tuck and roll. Yeah, give me give me a give me a. Uh, this was a maneuver, so press resist. Yeah. No stress. Uh, you just take some bumps and bruises, and you're good. That's just gonna be level one arm. Uh, cool. Yeah. Uh, do you want to try and, and scout your way out, or like to a hiding spot? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Just give me a scout roll, and you're you're G to G. Uh, still risky. Yeah. Fortunately, if you roll a four to five on this, that's when you just say ghost. Yep. And there you go. go. And you're done. Uh, they they look for you. They would catch anyone else, but you're like missed in the morning. You're just gone. All right, cool. Uh, let's do some XPs. Oh, actually, I just have one question. Uh-huh. How do you handle the outcome of this mission? Do you go to Jonicus and be like, they are fucking monsters, do something? Do you go to Legion and you're like, nah? Or do you do fetch Zora? Like, what's the, what's, the, what's the plan? Do you just like leave? Like, what's the, what do you all yeah. agree to, to say? Uh, I think when Indigo meets back up with them, he's probably recommending, can we just blow them up? Like, all the blowing up, like, those guys suck. Like, those guys suck a lot. Those guys, like, suck so hard. Those guys are, like, paying poor people to take their blight so that they can do even more bad shit. This is not good. This is, like, the opposite of good. This is, like, evil. This is, like, one step from being blighter's minions bad. I mean, not to throw a wrench into your narrative of them being evil like they have held this town for three months or they held this fort what, what? Uh, i don't i mean i don't i don't disagree with you but i think i think we did what needed to be done like i mean i i don't know i think fort glisco still needs them they're soldiers fighting the undead they're not legion but they're not the undead. Yet. Yeah, I guess that's really the question, right? Like, the way that they're using, you know, corruption and blight, are they going to corrupt themselves so then they'll be undead in the town? I mean, blighters outside, the chance that everybody in here becomes horribly corrupted is high no matter what. We've taken away their tool to to make other people suffer it for them. Maybe that maybe at this point they'll decide that the fight is no longer worth it and they'll turn tail and run. But if they don't and they decide to stay and fight, we need all the <laughs> humanity needs all the people we can to fight 
against Blighter. It was right to stop them, but we can't make more enemies than we already have plenty of enemies. Do you okay? Yeah. Do you folks decide that this is above your pay grade and just turn over the report? <laughs> you know what? I give all my crap to the commander and let him or her deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't think Zynova feels free of the responsibility for this. Um, but Tali, you got you got any hot takes, or are you just like, mm -mm. Uh, it's it's war, and uh, you know it's hard for us to be at our best. Uh, those folks failed uh, at at being their best today. Zynova is going to report the problem is solved, and not say what they did like it's it's it won't happen anymore i think john kiss presses you i'm not, I'm not gonna make rolls but i'm yeah. I, I think he wants to know he's like oh okay what was it you're like it's not gonna happen again he's like yeah it's not good enough i need to know what's happening in my fort uh, now the the legion's not gonna like force you to do anything here, but I'm 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 asking how you would react. Yeah, um, she says. Sometimes learning things makes your decisions harder to make. Some some usually intel helps you make smart decisions. Sometimes intel makes decisions harder for you to make. You need everybody you can to keep fighting against blighter. And the guard mechanique have helped you fight against Blighter. How old are you? Sinoba was a lion and she lost all the others in Denmark. So I think she's, I'm going to say she's early 30s. What's your rank? <laughs> officer. It's sergeant, but like she just says officer because that's all that matters in Legion. This means that I'm a general. Mm -hmm. And it says, uh, are you telling me how to lead and how to handle my squads? Are you making the decisions for me? Who'd you send on the mission? Did you go? <laughs> uh, I think he, he looks at you and he says, I sent the correct resources. I trusted them to report correctly. And I'm giving you the correct report. No, you're giving me your report. I want to make the decision here. Tell me what you found. I mean, the I, Legion has your back, by the way. If you're just like, no, I absolutely no, no, it's fine. It, it's it's going to be like, okay. I mean, Zyanov is well, actually, invested. I don't know. In, Last the commander. <laughs> Zyanov is invested in people sticking together. She's very, very pro-humanity, very against undead. And that means sometimes having strange bedfellows. Um, we have bandits in our group. We have, you know. I agree. We have but all sorts of. Not every military unit's like that, right? Yeah, I agree. So I think she pulls out like some, just some like, like basically what is effectively now dust right like detritus right it's no it's nothing usable but it's a bit of this contraption and she'll like pours it onto the ground and says they had a thing fine you want to make this decision i was trying to spare you he gives you that look like oh Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> like, <laughs> the shit that I've seen compared yeah. to you, 30 more years of military career, you understand what shoes I'm standing in. Yeah, great. And I'm like, so I think Sayanova gives, yeah, sure. She just tells him. And then she also tells him the names of three people that need to be paid for that man. Uh, uh, you know, if I was just your resources, and I was, we weren't we were, we aren't making decisions here. We're just acting in your stead. Then here's what you, the leader of this mission, get to do: take care of this family. He nods about that um, and says, uh, "I will do this, and I will not ask any further questions on it. But you're the one that gave your word. I thought it meant more to you than that." But he nods and he says, uh, "I'll take care of this." dismissed <laughs> XP good for you 
Skittles. <laughs> this was not a chicken machine. This is I not mean, a chicken machine. No. No. It was kind of chicken. No, no. Actually, this is a really interesting mission that we struggle with a lot putting in the game. Uh, but one of the things that we had to take a look at is uh, sort of like how does war affect everyone? And uh, not not every like there is not this like super heroic story of like everybody is flawlessly banded together. The alliances are perfect. Everyone's on the same side and on the same page. And yeah. uh, this was one of the things is like war makes difficult choices. And this was like a big ethical question. What is the Legion like? Do they wreck the device? Do they take it and try and use it? Like how, how does this outcome come? Uh, so I think that leaving it the way that you did, I'm going to say a certain stuff and then we can discuss if we want to change it or not, like with some roles. Uh, but I think that Jonicus actually confronts the guard mechanique and the outcome of it is that the woman uh, that was interrogating uh, Indigo uh, accepts all the blame and the responsibility and she says that uh, she she made the decisions and the calls so the responsibility is hers and uh, Jonicus is is basically going to kick her out of the fort and she's going to die horribly like somewhere in that fog. Uh, but the rest of the guard mechanique is not going to be punished significantly further, although they will be put under constant watch. Um, they will not be allowed to just handle stuff however they want on their own, uh, but they're not going to be, it's not going to be taken any further. Um, so that's the, that's the fictional outcomes of the mission. Question. Cool. If we yeah. find out that she's getting kicked out of the fort, can we take her with us? Uh... She acted honorably in that she accepted responsibility for what the hell was going on. Right. This is 100% their motto. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's, uh, we can we can make some sway rolls uh, maybe next time or something. I, 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 I think that that's plausible. Um, that's going to be tough though, right? Because like the whole purpose is for Jonicus to make a point that she's being punished. But if the Legion is vanishing into the night through stealthy back alley channels, that might happen. I don't know. Uh, you'll have to convince the command staff that you want somebody that's willing to do this to humans as part of the Legion. Uh, I think it's doable. Uh, but may maybe not right this second. Let's let's do XP, yeah. let's do secondary <laughs> mission, and then we'll... We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out. in. Food play scenes. Cool. Marshall, who... Uh, Jen! I survived the mission, yay! Yay! Um, I helped my squad through stealth or foresight, definitely. Um, I brought in my heritage of being a traveler. You did. Um, and uh, what's the last thing? Highest. Highest threat. Two. Threat. Two. Okie dokie. Hey, Jay. Hey. I survived the mission. Good. <clears throat> uh... I helped my squad through might or fortitude. I don't think I did. Yeah, I, I didn't have fortitude. Any. Oddly, you were incredibly smooth, mostly stealthy, yeah. and just like kind of a canny tactician. But I don't think that you were like wrecking right. shit or no. or you know like suffering heavy heavy harm for somebody else. I right. would say fortitude though, because in that you know he did take on the burden of assisting us all. He was the, 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 the rock for a lot of us. Yeah. Uh, technically, I don't get to say, but you folks can discuss this. <laughs> you was a little, you know, but uh, it's, up to, it's, up to, it's up to the table. This is actually not the GM's call. Yeah. I say you did. How are you feeling, Jay? Uh, I'm, I... I don't disagree with the arguments. When I hear might and fortitude, I was thinking something physical. Yeah. Uh, well, Jay, it is your call in the end. Yeah. Uh, you're you're the one that gets final say, actually, according to the rules that somebody wrote. I don't yeah, know. Not. Yeah. So I don't. I don't feel I. Uh, yeah. I don't. I don't feel I earned that okay. this round. Uh, right. Might and fortitude. Uh, you brought into play your heritage or traumas. Uh, certainly, my heritage. Uh, Holy cow! That heritage came up. Yeah. And the trauma. I yeah. think you were cold. So whole, two XP there. The yeah. whole moment of like, yeah, you got this. <laughs> well, you figured it out. I helped you out as much as I'm going to help. <laughs> Run with it. And uh, per highest threat of, of opponent. It's two. Yeah, two. All right. So that's six. All right. All right. Sean? Uh, sure thing. 
Oh yeah, I just saw my picture of Zyanova. Yeah, no, she's actually probably mid mid late thirties actually, but that's fine. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I survived the mission. Yay! Yay! One there. Um, uh, I helped my teammates through enforcing discipline or strategic planning. There's lots. I I feel feel good yeah. about the level of planning we did, especially taking that whole thing apart at the end. Uh, two. Um, scrolling up and down. Uh, you brought to play your heritage or traumas. Loyal came up a bunch, both in roles and also in what we decided to do. Yeah, there's a lot of Asia. you definitely role played it, particularly towards the end there. You're like, general. <laughs> yeah, um, and for highest type of one face is is two. two. That's that's three. Um, so I'm gonna go poop. Poop. There we go. And I'm gonna take a dot in. I think research or rig. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna do research because Zynova is gonna make sure that she doesn't walk into another one of these things, being like, "Wait, none of us know how to speak or none of us know what this contraption's about." Maybe maybe we can tutor her. I was gonna say I picked up infiltrator. Ah, uh, that's so good. It felt very apt. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, right. right. Uh, and uh, indigo. I survived. Yay! Yeah. Uh, I helped my squad through stealth or foresight. You know, yes, you did, but a lot of it was talking. Shockingly, there was some stealth. <laughs> oh no, absolutely. Yeah. The, the XP is granted. Yeah, yeah. No, no question. Uh, Just, lots of foresight too. Yeah. Uh, I did bring into play my heritage as a traveler. Yeah. Uh. And two for uh, highest threat. Nice. Mm -hmm. So I have an advance. Oh, nice. Decisions, decisions. Cool. Uh, do you want to do that in a second and do the secondary mission roll real quick? Yeah. All right. Oh, All right. Uh, da -da. Save your roll. Uh, everybody's house sworn because we made sure of that. Commander, did you sit in for an intel? No. I didn't think so. Uh, everybody a specialist or soldier? No. Uh, no distrust or fears. Required specialist we got. And this is a religious mission, yes? Yep. All right, uh, we have the. No one has blight. No one has blight. Uh, quartermaster, did you send religious supplies to warden protect the soldiers? Mm. I think you would say no. What was it? Let me look up this mission again. Um. What? Die, Sean. What? <laughs> yeah, what? We're gonna get another die from Victoria. Oh, okay. But just, you want three dice. All right. Yeah. I think Quartermaster will. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right, Michelle. Let's see it. I have a dumb question. Go ahead. Huh? So for the primary mission, we brought religious supplies, but didn't use them. Oh. You did. Uh, okay. the, the reliquaries and the dowsing and stuff like that got brought into play. Okay. Yeah. But yes, you're right. We 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 didn't suffer corruption or anything like that, right? It was yeah. an odd mission. It, it We labeled it assault because we weren't sure how people were going to handle it, but it's definitely against the guard mechanic. And I've seen that, that mission go like a talkie mission, and I've seen that mission go like a stealth mission right now. I've also seen people just like be like, nope, you're letting us in. And when they're like, I'm not sure, they just push wow. their way in. So I don't know. I could see it be a recon mission. Yeah, honestly, yeah it, it could be. But recon requires horses, which is way, way weirder than like yeah. reliquaries and stuff. Yeah. 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 No, it's an oddball. All right. Yeah. Cool. Go for it. Hey, six. Nice. You get the thing. So... Nobody dies. Nobody, Nobody dies. dies. Woohoo! Now you could you could hurt people and kill people in order to promote someone, but uh, actually, I actually double check the six. Everybody takes level one harm. Yes, all the specialists are going to come back with level one harm. 
Okay. But that's okay. It's very small. One rest and recovery will fix it right up. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do we have the we have the option of trading lives for 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 soldiers? We can lose two squad mates to promote promote a rookie to a soldier. That does not yeah. seem like a good trade off at this point. I, I can I can see the I could see the uh, we're we're getting plus two morale from the assault mission, so the morale is going to be wouldn't we would not take a morale hit. We would be losing two two rookies for the golden light from the shadow lands. That'd be a bummer, but look, we're already low I was say, on we're full down, squads. Yeah, we're down Let's seven. Not screw with that. Quarterbass is like I don't love those people. They're just a resource. No, I mean, morale goes up and down. Not how this works. And Misha's just like, "F you! You're not playing the marshal." Yeah, no, it's no. That's a bad use of resources. Cordvast uh... just slowly becomes guard mechanic. <laughs> right? You <Steal> my flocks. <laughs> All right. I do flock nice. work. Oh. Uh... <laughs> Oh, that's just bad, dude. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I apologize. All right. All right. Cool. So, uh, so Rhea and, um, and. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, you already one get... harm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they also get, did you give them XP? Uh, no. They get what, two? Yeah, they get two. And I think Rhea has to take it in traits because she can't get any more special abilities. I believe you're correct. Rhea, what traits would you like to uh, to, to boost? Um, action. Right. Huh? They're called actions. Oh. Yeah, right. sorry. I, I was I, I steered us wrong. Uh, da, 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 da. I mean, Rhea has a lot of stuff. I know. Put it in resolve. All right. You have two dots in resolve. Sweet. All right. So you're going to go down to nine morale because you did not do Operation Shadow Serpent. Right. Uh, you're going to gain an officer uh, as the reward for Onyx Depths. And you're going to gain plus two morale. So your morale is going to max out again and plus two supply from Tarnished Clockwork. Janicus definitely tells you folks good work, mercenaries, and hands over some money. Nice. I mean, that's what the Legion is. Your mercs. Uh, that's what she thinks we are. And <laughs> he and and uh, yeah. Uh, the quartermaster is so, not going to disabuse him of that notion, and will happily take the supply. <laughs> that was the agreement, and 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 he pays up. He doesn't he doesn't uh, prevaricate. Uh, so cool. Uh, that's that, and uh, I think it is our tradition to push forward just a tiny bit and make sure that mission phase summary one second yeah we do uh so we're in bookkeeping uh nope we're gonna start with back at camp that's it but you're doing pressure time and food uh we can it's technically back at camp first Mm. and then time passes hmm Um, okay that's fine so uh I'm gonna put that note in the chat. Yeah. And then uh, that's gonna be that for now. Do you folks have anything you wanna do before we call it for the eve? I didn't know if you wanted to, to have a, a free play scene or- I was or gonna like say, uh, Rhea's coming back with Mild injury. What's the level one harm? Well, let's talk about it. Yeah, you folks are fighting some undead and probably some some strange things that live in the depths of the sewers. Uh, some 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 giant water snake, maybe. Uh, that's the kind of stuff you've you've had to deal with. There's also probably some uh, clambering and jumping across, you know, cracked foundations and chasms, that kind of thing. Uh, that's about it. Popping open some some tombs. Uh, what kind of injury would you like to have? Do you want to have like a sprained ankle? Uh, 
a small bite, a cut, you know, what's it's minor, right? Like it's, yeah. it's enough that you're like feeling it. Like it's not so minor that it's like a paper cut, right? But right, like, right, right. It's I, not enough that you're I almost it's think enough it's for like, a comfort scene. Yeah. Um, I think it's actually she's like re pulled that shoulder that she pulled way back when in like the oh, very man. first mission. Those recurring injuries is rough. Yeah, I mean let's give the contessa a sprained ankle or a twisted ankle. I think uh Sprained is worse than that. All right, we good? Yeah, I think we are good. Uh, let's do our little outros. Um, I'm sure not. Hold on, I'm gonna switch things over. Yeah, let me let me just ask real quick, Jen. Uh, now that we've established that, do you want to do your like replacing at the start of next time? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, I didn't want to just oh, like be like, uh -huh. cool. Now that we've established your intro, let's let's just move right past that. So, uh, cool. But at least now we know what we have to look forward to. Yeah, and maybe maybe we'll get the head of the garden make a neat too. Who knows? We'll see what happens there. Um, this is tons of fun as always. I'm glad the Legion Legion has a way out of Fort Clisco. Jay, you said you're going to the Ma next. Exciting. We should talk about that, but we can talk about that off off, yeah. off camera. Uh, I'm Sean. Uh, you can find me everywhere at Sean Nittner. Uh I'm excited that if you um, if you uh, are looking for off guard games games now, uh, they can be found at this fancy schmancy website. That Strash and John and uh, Randy Ost, who's made a couple other sites for us as well, just put up. That's super cool. Uh, so all that's coming along, and the Band of Blades uh, character sheets are complete, and uh, they were going to be published roll twenty soon, and so we'll have super awesome looking uh, band sheets. The ones we showed off last week will be available to everybody very soon. So. Um, very very cool stuff how about you jay i am jay uh he him pronouns you can find me on twitter at mad j zero i'm also the host of the Dysology podcast and i will see some of you at gen con yeah how about you jen i am jen martin i use she her pronouns you can find me on twitter at jen martin 80 uh i will not be at gen con but Bully Pulpit will be dropping our Kickstarter for the new version of Fiasco right before or like during Gen Con. We'll have to see. Um, it's overwhelming. Um, but it, it, it's very on brand for Fiasco. So I'm confident in that. Would you say it is a Fiasco? Kind of. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure. Uh, what about you, Misha? I mean, should be uh, she, her. I, I also will not be at Gen Con because the idea of that many people gives me hives. Uh, so <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Actually, I, I have some writing to finish. So I'm going to finish up some stuff, and I get to write about like some badass women in, in the old west, and, and life is cool. And so that's what I'm going to be doing for the next little while. How about you, Strash? Hey, I'm Strash. You can find me. On Twitter, at Strache, I use he, him pronouns. I will also not be at Gen Con. Uh, <laughs> both my roommate and best friend will be out of town. So I'm going to I'm gonna be having a, a mini vacation in my house myself. Nice. Uh, so, vacation. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hilariously, what I actually will be doing is laying out yet another game. So uh, mm -hmm. there's cool stuff to look forward to. The uh, Off Guard Games website that Sean mentioned is is up and running. So now you can see our basic stuff. Uh, we've got links to drive through now with new and improved Itch.io store. Uh, and uh, yeah, there might be some new small games coming out. Uh, you know, like as thanks for all the people that have supported us in, in making these giant massive tomes. Um, uh, the only thing that I want to hype. Oh, you have yours. Of course, of course. Yes, I do. Uh, that's right. You worked on it, so you had a, a pre yes. copy. But mm -hmm. I actually saw that Judd got his for for reals copy this morning, so yeah. they should be appearing shortly for anyone that pre-ordered. Um, the only thing that I have to add here is yes. Um, if you're interested, you should show up Saturday uh, because I will be playing a game with 
Judd Carlman, uh, Lauren McManon, who released an awesome game called uh, Girl Underground, which I just got the scene. It's sitting on my my living room table. Yeah, my and guest star John Harper, who's going to be playing a spirit warden as we're trying to track down a serial killer in Doskball who is possessed by a ghost. Yes. So uh, Saturday night, you should totally join us. It's going to be a blast. Um, yeah, that's all I got. That sounds- Shana, are you ready for it? I'm ready for it. Time for smooth outro. 